Hello again and welcome to another Mordia and Glory Warhammer 40k Battle Report. In today's episode, we find the combined forces of Morians and Armageddon Steel Legion desperately trying to counter-attack against an awakened Necron tomb world. It will be Wraith versus Chimera, Catan versus Lehman Russ. And joining me for this soiree is my ever salty partner in crime, Admiral Simon! Simon, you brought Necrons? Yes. Damn your eyes. <laughs> Damn your eyes! It's probably going to be last time for a while. Really? Well, uh, yeah, well, uh, it, 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 it's been leading up to uh, next week, so... Uh, Indeed. After that, I'm going to pivot. So for those that don't know, Simon and I are travelling to America! We're going to the land of freedom, and we shall be engaging in some furious battles at none other than Adepticon, the con of Adept, and it's going to be a lot of fun. We're doing the team event, and we are doing the, uh, the singles event. So please, obviously, whilst we're over there, come up and say hello to us. You know, uh, Simon is actually very cuddly in real life. So. <laughs> Don't. Also accepts free beer. Also accepts free beer. <laughs> in fact, sometimes it sits upon it. Yeah, pretty much. That's my rider. Uh, so this is, for this, for us, this is a tournament practice game. We are both trying out our tournament lists. Uh, Simon, this is your singles list. This is kind of, for me, it's kind of a combination of my singles and my team event. Of course, we'll cover all of that in the army overview in a moment. But we are, we are we're trying to do our best to emulate the uh, Adepticon missions and the terrain and all that kind of stuff. And uh, we're going to have a proper go at some tournament practice. So we're going to be playing hard, but we're going to be playing uh, fair at the same time. So hopefully you guys will quite enjoy this because it's going to be two competitive lists and competitive mindsets battling it out for domination on the tabletop. Oh, it's getting very hyped up in here. I suppose now that I'm all excited, there's only one thing to do. Let's take a look at the two armies that are battling it out today. Hi everyone, Mordian here. Sorry to interrupt the video, but I've got a big announcement for you guys that I think many of you are going to find very interesting. Element Games is running a painting competition. Now I'll make sure there's a link down in the description with all the details, but here are a few highlights to wet the whistle. Firstly, they're going to have four separate categories, and each one of these categories is going to have its own rewards and trophies. So you've got single miniature, vehicle or large model, squad and diorama. Now you can enter models from any game system you want and you can enter as many different categories as you want. So you can either just focus on one or go for all of them. Regardless of which category or categories you decide to enter, all of the rewards and trophies are going to be presented by none other than Duncan Rhodes. That's right, Painting Jesus, Two Thin Coats himself is going to be there. So not only will you have a chance to show off your painting capabilities, but you'll also get an opportunity to meet one of the legends of the hobby. All the information on how to enter and the rules for the event are, again, in the link down in the description below. That's all for now. Let's get back into the video. And here we have 2,000 points of his Imperial Guard, the Emperor's true finest. And we've got a double doozy, double the Emperor's finest for you guys today, because we are running two combined guard regiments. That's right. We are ha having a detachment of the Armageddon 234th Steel Legion Mechanized Dragoons fighting alongside the Mordian 50th well, normally rifles, these will be the more than 50th uh, mechanized, I think we'll go for uh, today. Uh, so the idea behind this list is it's modular. It's two armies in one. See, a big part of uh, Adepticon is the team event. So I needed to build a list that could not only uh, work as a 2,000 point combined army, but also a list that when we go to the team event, I can uh, lend a thousand points to one of our one of our colleagues as he's bringing what was it to the uh, for the two thousand points? Dirty towel. He's bringing. <laughs> well, he's bringing dirty towel to uh, to the team to the to the, to the singles, and um, when, when we when we uh, when this came to light, uh, we said we're doing Team Imperium, Chris. So uh, I will be bringing a thousand points of guard because I, I am not pairing up with Tal. 
No, I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, Simon, you're bringing an extra thousand points of grey knights when we yeah, have a team. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. there you go. Uh, so we'll have. So what you see here is for the two thousand point uh, tournament, which is obviously what we're practicing for today. Uh, my mechanized guard force, and then when you when you see the sort of two different color schemes, what you see there is uh, when it breaks down into two separate armies. No, it's damn it. Uh, so let's take a look at what each regiment is bringing to the fight. Starting off with the Armageddon 234th, we have got three armoured fist squads. These are three chimeras, each one with double heavy bolter, double heavy stubber, and uh, we've also got the lads going to range and hunter missiles and all that kind of good stuff. Inside each one, there will be a Catachan squad with double flamer, boxcaster, sergeant, all that kind of good stuff. We have then got three more vehicles. We've got a tank commander. Tank commander who's going to have a demolish cannon, plasma cannons, and a heavy bolter. We have then got a Lehman Russ battle tank. Uh, I love a good Lehman battle tank. You can't go wrong. It's, uh, it's a take all comers. And when you're going into a big tournament, you need to have a few units which you can rely upon no matter what the foe, whether it's something big or something little. Uh, you just need it, something that you can slap some damage three into and... Uh, this is a nice reliable source of damage three. It's got a heavy stubber, a large cannon, and we've got the plasma cannons here. Uh, I put the large cannon on this one because uh, I put the heavy bolt on tank commander because tank commander only hits on fours. So I thought more shots, more chances to hit. Mm -hmm. But the battle tank will be able to hit on threes with take aim, so we'll give it the the bigger, punchier gun. Makes sense. That was my thinking. Um, we then come over, and then we've got a manticore because. <laughs> Manticores are apparently very meta now, even though they have gone up exceedingly so in points. Uh, apparently, well, it's because um, a chap called David went to Southampton uh, GT Super Major with uh, two Manticores and a uh, bitch slapped everyone across the table. Not fair enough. And he had took a picture of them whilst he was holding his first place trophy. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he's a big fan of the Manticore. So I thought, you know, what, I won't quite give up on it. But the main reason I've taken it, if I'm going to be honest, is it's the right colour. Yeah. I wanted to have a nice sort of... If I'm going to have a mixed colour scheme, I want it to... Also, but also when it breaks down to 1,000 points, I want it to uh, to look nice whilst it's doing all that kind of stuff. Uh, speaking of the other army, though, the other colour scheme here, we have got the Mordians! The Mordians are going to America! <laughs> oh, man. I wasn't going to take my Mordians to America because I was worried about things getting lost in transit. But now this entire army will fit into my hand luggage thanks to Simon and his amazing foam technology. <laughs> well, it's not in your endo. Uh, <laughs> uh, I can now take... I can now I'll safely take some uh, some audience because they'll be staying close by me throughout the entire journey. Now uh, we've gone for the mechanized force here, so we've gone for three chimeras, uh, and we've gone for uh, one with the uh, double heavy bolter and, and a storm bolter and hunter killer missile, and then we've gone for uh, two more with the uh, heavy bolters, multi lasers. I hate multi lasers. That's what the modeled with, and also I'm trying some different things out. I had a comment left on a video recently. Um, and I actually, it, it was a bit of a salty comment, but it actually got me thinking and made me realise, you know what, it's true. I take the same things in a lot of battle ports. I'm always like, if it's a camera, it's always got the heavy bolter. If it's a Lima Russ, it's always got like an exterminator cannon. And I thought, you know what, let's sprinkle in some other bits. The Sousson. The Sousson. And even if it makes the list worse, it might make the games a little bit more interesting, a bit more varied. So, uh, I, I apologize, I can't remember your name, dear commenter. It's probably a few people that have left the comment, to be fair. <laughs> but uh, you guys, your voices have been heard, and I will be trying to make sure that I mix my list up a little bit more going forward. It was actually me saying, stop taking infantry. Yeah. Well, I think someone basically <laughs> said, like, well, you take, every time you take your guard, whether it's, no matter what guard it is, it's basically one variant or another of 80 infantry, four tanks, and two artillery pieces. And I was like... Well, it is, because that's the best. <laughs> but uh, it's also, it's obviously the same thing when people tune in. So we're trying to, trying to spice things up. Try, you know, we're, we're creating an open open army relation. No, it doesn't quite work. Anyway, moving on. Uh, moving on swiftly. We've, then, we're, we've, got a, we've got three more vehicles. So we've got a Lemus Exterminator with a uh, Heavy Bolter and the Multi Melters. Uh, and then we have got an El Clasico. El Clasico Tank Commander. This is this was the first Lehman Rust that I ever built myself. Oh. Still going. Retro. Absolutely retro. He's boxy. He's got a completely fixed loadout because that's all you could build him with when he came, what he came with. 
And uh, even the Storm Bolter is from like second edition. Good times. Uh, so we've got his Lever Rust Tank Commander, Battle Cannon, Lads Cannon, and Heavy Bolters. Uh, again, we're kind of going with some more classic units, mixed up a little bit, but also you can't go wrong with uh, an El Classico. I always say it's a, a unit you can rely upon almost no matter the, uh, the situation. It's not ever the most efficient, but it's also never a complete flop. So hopefully it, with, with this, we're going to a big big tournament we're going to america and a new a new meta simon yeah could be very different with lots of different units over there there's actually some terrain this time different so. ter different some, some actual goddamn terrain <laughs> uh sometimes when you're entering into the belly of the beast into the <laughs> unknown environments sometimes just having something that you know no matter what will do something is pretty uh pretty tasty uh we've then uh we've got um a couple of uh scout sentinels now today both these scout sentinels are are green but when I, uh, when I go to Adepticon, one of these scout sensors will be tan. It just needs to be basing. And I thought, I don't want to have either it blue tacked onto an unpainted bigger base, which would look a bit rubbish. Um, or I don't want to use a, one of my tan sensors, which is on the wrong base size, which again would look a bit rubbish. So there is, uh, there's two sensors here. Uh, they're both scout sensors. They've both got lads cans. Both got under kilometer styles. Both got sets of chainsaws. And uh, there will be one for each detachment, as it were. Uh, and then uh, last... But certainly not least, we have a Cyclops Demolition Vehicle. Because I had, I had 30 points left over. Um, and I thought, I'll, uh, I'll spend 25 of it. And I'll put uh, 25 and 5 points for the Emperor. Mm. There you go. And then we've got the Infantry. Uh, overall, there's 6 squads of Cathachans, Double Flamer, all that kind of good stuff in each one. And each one goes in a Chimera. When this breaks down, for anyone who's just in the 1,000 point list, we have this with obviously three inch squads and a sentinel and then we have this all the green stuff here except for one of the sentinels and basically the difference is that uh, you've got a cyclops demolition vehicle uh over here and i think this list also gets a grand strategist whereas uh, this one doesn't at uh 1000 points well, it's now much more expensive the manticore is than the 180 person. points yeah. so that's uh it's for 45 points more which is Grand Strategist and a Cyclops. Cyclops yeah. So that's why this has got Grand, this guy will have Grand Strategist today, and that's why this is my Grand Strategist Cyclops one. There you it? go. It's a big difference. I was thinking of taking this as an extra basilisk uh, instead of a Manticore, but then it wouldn't split down. It wouldn't break down neatly. And uh, if me and if, if Chris and I are battling alongside each other, we want to make it clear to our opponents who's controlling what units. Um, because obviously we don't want people, if you're running two guard armies that are identical, not only could you have a, you know, your opponents confused like what's in being controlled by who, but you could also get confused with who's fired what. You could have having a basilisk firing twice something mad. So uh, we don't want any, we don't want any mistakes like that. Also, it looks cool, which is really the main thing of it. I have definitely sacrificed. I'd say, I'd say ten percent efficiency. If I was to go through and, and, and tweak things, I'd say uh, these not having the exactly perfect loadout and uh, and this being a, a basilisk has probably led to about 10%, about 100, about not quite 200 points, maybe 95% efficiency, maybe about 100 points of of waste. And if I was to really tweak it up a little bit, I would uh, I'd change a few things around, but only very minor things. And overall, I, I do, like I said, just prefer the way this breaks down. It's quite a nice, neat to 1,000 points. But I'm rambling, Simon. I'm rambling, I'm repeating myself. Jesus Christ, let's not mess around any further. <laughs> let's go over to the Necrons. And here we have 2,000 points of try-hard whacker cheese bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I've ever got the top codex when I've gone to a tournament, so I'm going to enjoy it and probably go one and three. But uh, I'm going to enjoy the one. It very much is going to depend on terrain, which yeah. we'll get to after we've done the lists. We'll have a little talk about the terrain. So, I mean, take us through this abomination. <laughs> so, let's we'll start with the characters. Um, so, we've got a Chronomancer. Um, that the guy with the swirly staff. Yeah, going in with his uh, Rubik's Cubes. Nice. Um, and two tats, uh, and he's also got the Auto Divinator that will give me extra CP if uh, you use an ability. So not really going to make any difference in this battle. Well, so if I gain CP, you gain CP? If you use an ability. What's an ability? So, oh, uh, get ability I, to gain yeah, CP. Yeah, yeah. Don't have one of those. No, so, you know. <laughs> there you go. I had some points left over, so it's there. Uh, and then we've got two uh, Technomancers, and one's got the Dimensional Sanctum, which will allow his unit to uh, infiltrate. Cool. Uh, uh, then we've got 
the battle line, a huge proportion of the army, which is a whole 140 points of immortals. <laughs> Gores? <laughs> yeah, Gores. Jumpy back and forth? Yes. Nice. So, I, I, was, I, I think I was head of the curve with this. Oh, you were? I, you know, I, that was, you set the meta? Yeah. God, that's worrying. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and again, this is a canoptic cult list, so it would be rude not to have some canoptic units. Not so. hyper cult. No. Hypercrypt. No, I've... Uh, I, the, the club the court still doing very well on the I, I like it and also uh, and the, the, I can't stress this enough uh, I, I don't have one of the uh, the, the, the big the, the, the void dragons no not the void dragons the oh. uh, what do you call it the teleporting archy thing that I can remember Tesseract Tesseract Vault not the Tesseract Vault Crash what's it called I don't know, Sam. I don't collect this army. No, 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 well, I don't collect it. We're meant to be professional. <laughs> it will come to me. Right, you don't have it in your list, yeah, so let's not worry about right, it. Yeah. <laughs> the monolith. The monolith. <laughs> yeah, I, knew it was... I don't have a monolith. And I don't... You're a bloody monolith. Yeah, so uh, I think it does work without the monolith, but uh, I think it, it really pushes the uh, the skill ceiling up a bit. So okay. this is what I've been playing. So uh, yeah. Anyway, so we've got two units of six uh, wraiths, because they're cool. Uh, one's got... The uh, pistol and one's got the uh, beamer or the whichever way around. Uh, then we've got a unit of six scarabs, nice a unit of three scarabs, nice uh, a unit of three two blades, cool. Uh, and then we get to the uh, the best bit, big Nige. It sickens me that you have <laughs> fallen so low. Anyone here ever accuses me of being like tournament whacker or anything like this again he's like oh you really because people say it in the comments like ah oh, really harsh on simon and stuff and i'm like <laughs> look look at what i actually have to deal with there's not often i have like, a list like this to be every fair. week <laughs> i say to simon like this is a bit more narrative he goes no let's do the bit more competitive <laughs> every bloody week well, no this is practice for like it's just getting worse and worse the biggest tournament in the last two years for us so we've got to you know milk it while they can you know you get more points for, for you know you get more points for painting. Uh, you get more points for painting. Oh, fair enough. I don't know I, I don't know, by the way, we're going off a tangent here, so I'll just be quick. I was looking at the rules pack and I don't see any separation between like painting and like victory points. Like they're all mixed into like what determines your placing. So there is a chance that you could win every single game, but if your army is three colours and a finger scoop of astro granite on the base, yeah. you just don't get it into the top sixteen. Really? I don't know. I could be wrong. Well, Anyone from Adepticon or experience in these matters, comment down below, please. I don't, I don't it's not going to make a difference to us. I don't think I need to worry about the top 16. I mean, I've got Space Hulk tickets the second day, so... Uh, space Hulk tickets? Oh, oh cool. mate, I'm telling you. Did you not know about the Space Hulk thing? No, I just got um, I got my team ticket and my single ticket. Oh, I tell you. Mark, Mark got me onto this. It looks amazing. So, anyway, Do you read any models for it? Uh, I, well, I hope not. If not, Big Nige is going into a, a space hall. <laughs> <laughs> There's any spare tickets, I might pick one up. Uh, uh, anyway, so we've got Big Nige, the Nightbringer. Uh, we've also got a Transcendent. And uh, for two reasons. One, I think, actually, it's a bit underrated. Is uh, and Well, I faced it. It was horrendous. Like, it was awful to face against. Well, I'm talking about the Deceiver now. Oh, the Deceiver? Yeah, oh, okay. I was, I was leading on to it. Oh, uh, you, I thought you were doing it. Transcendence is brilliant. Transcendence yeah. brilliant. But uh, I think the Deceiver's got a little bit of play in it. Um, Guess we'll find out. We'll find out. And the other thing is, it's the only other Catan I've got. So, you know, there we go. Deceiver... Nightbringer and Transcendent. You're just missing a Void Dragon. Yeah, but I couldn't get, you know, he's too big to put in a hand luggage. Yeah. Um, anyway, there we go, digressing. Then we've got three Love Cursed Destroyers. They're all uh, single units. They're not in one big unit. And finally, a Doomstalker. And that mm. is 2,000 points on the nose. It's not a lot of shooting. What, sorry? It's not a lot of shooting. No. No, so I think it's going to be well. It's going to be interesting playing against my Steel Legion for it. You know, <laughs> um, it depends. If this was old Adepticon, I would think this would be suicide. Yes, but, but it's not old Adepticon. No, it's new Adepticon. Yes. So we shall see how it plays. And speaking of new and old Adepticon and terrain and all that kind of stuff, let's go over to the field of battle after deployment. And here we are, the field of battle. After deployment, an iron line of Imperial Panzers trying to spearhead an assault into these Necron lines. We have got a heavy presence on the left flank. Three Chimeras filled with Katachans, a Demolish Tank Commander, and we've also got a Exterminator Tank as well. 
In the centre, we have got uh, a pair of battle cannons, one tank commander, one regular commander. And then we have got uh, two chimeras uh, here. They seem a bit exposed, but they do have a scout move. And then on the left flank, uh, it, basically, I put stuff down the left flank, and Simon put stuff down the left flank, and I went, this looks horrible, and I stopped putting stuff down on the left <laughs> flank. Because I decided that almost no matter how much firepower I put into these Catans, they're probably, they're not just going to go to sleep because I asked them nicely. And so I've kind of, some of you may die. <laughs> that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. Uh, speaking of the Necrons, we've got uh, Pink Dude and uh, Big Nige. Big Nige. And we've got a Big Nige in the house. We are Big Nige is Barmy Army. We are, That's our yeah. team name. Um, Simon is team captain and he has not used his powers wisely nor compassionately. <laughs> Named after a Catan, he's not even going to be in the team. <laughs> oh, like, you can't be called Big Nigel, but I'm, 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 I'm assisting. No, I'm joking. <laughs> joking too. You are, you are captain. Yes. You may name as what you wish. Uh, now, we've also got you of uh, the old Immortals. Yeah. With Chrono Man. Yeah. Scarabs. Yeah. Wraiths. Are they led? Can they be joined? Yes. Right, wow. answer. Gives a five or film, I bet. Spicy. Yes. Does he have infiltrate? He doesn't, but the other one does. Cool, that's how it works. Yes, okay, I was about, to, I was, I was about to lambast you, but no, it's okay. Uh, big penis doomstalker man. Wraithy boys that have infiltrated. This is sickening. <laughs> this, infiltrating this many guys. Was, I think it's, it's sickening against my army, but if you were facing like world with anger on, you would not do this. No. It, that would be foolish. Um, Maybe? Yeah. Depending because... where? Depending where Angron was, I suppose. I, yeah, I mean, because it would be interesting to see how much of a robot they are. But, mm. you know, otherwise, if they're in the middle, they've still got to get chewed through. It's going to potentially stop some of the turn one charges. Potentially. Potentially. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's very spicy in this in this game, though. And it'll be interesting to see uh, where you go with them. Will you uh, go this way? Will you go that way? Uh, we'll have to see. Yes. We'll have to see. And then, just a, then you've done a, just a small force over here, so it's kind of interesting. We've both gone for a bit of a refused flank. Yeah. Uh, you, you do have the Deceiver, yeah. who is still fundamentally a Catan, so it will be yeah. tricky. He's, he's the most tankiest of the Catan. He's the tankiest of the Catan. That's nice. Well, we'll see if he can out-tank my actual tanks. Yes, we'll find out. Mm. So, this to me, I feel like this is a very difficult matchup for the Guard. Uh, they, the Necrons are very, very durable. Um, and they're, they're, they're faster than than expected. Also, uh, if you look at the meta statistics, uh, Guard only have a thirty three percent win rate versus Necrons. So uh, Necrons is a very it's a very hard matchup for the majority yeah, of Guard players. Like piloted by me though. So uh... yes, but you have actually had some practice now, and you are running uh, three Catans because uh, you have no shame. So uh... <laughs> listen, you run three hundred Guard against me. You so... yes, yes. <laughs> And has anyone has anyone won a G a Super Mega GT with Primitive Guard, Simon? I don't think anyone's won one with a Deceiver, so there you go. Mm. Why is he not? Why is he bad if he's the tankiest one? Does he not do much damage? No, he's, he doesn't do much damage. Okay, that's fine. Um, just just durable. Yeah, he's okay. got stealth basically. No, oh, he's mad on to hit. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it, it's it's an interesting deployment. We'll have to see how it goes. I'm hoping to, to make extensive use of scout moves so that I'm not so clustered up for ultra wraith tagging. Uh, but we'll have to see. Uh, there's only one thing to do next. Let's find out who's going first. Post-production, Mordian and Simon here. We realised we missed out quite a significant part of a battle report, which is explaining what mission you're doing and, uh, and the terrain. So we probably should do that, shouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to leave it up to Evan, the editor, to work his, uh, his uh, magic of cinema. And uh, hopefully this will be spliced in at a somewhat appropriate point. Uh, the mission that we are doing, uh, Adepticon have published them ahead of time. And this is Mission L from the Leviathan uh, Rules Pack, of Leviathan com uh, Companion, Competitive Companion. And so that is Scorched Earth with Dawn of War deployment and uh, Chilling Rain. And we are, and this this mission could take place on either uh, GW terrain layout one, two, or three. And we have done it on GW terrain layout one because we imagine that's quite a quite a common one. Whenever I've seen tournaments uh, uh, like reports that use GW terrain layout one seems to be a good a good go to. So that's the mission and everything that we're doing in terms of terrain. It's all L shaped ruins. One thing I should mention though is. 
I don't have perfect bases and I don't have the exact games worth of terrain that you need. So what I have done is my absolute level best to emulate this. And so you can see, I have basically, I've tried to make sure if it's a big bit of wall that's meant to be tall, it's a big bit of wall that's meant to be tall. But I've also marked out where the perfect space should be using the scatter terrain and the crate. So, and when we've actually been deploying onto this, uh, we've been double checking, we've been referring to the terrain map, which we've got on the computer, and we've, we've got it pretty close. It won't be perfect, but we've got it pretty close. So this should be quite good practice for us because uh, neither Simon or I play on a lot of Games Workshop uh, terrain. One thing we've noticed straight away, and obviously we can talk about this a little bit more in the after action report, is it's open. It doesn't look open, but it is open. There's a fire lane uh, down here, which is pretty scary. And there's a fire lane uh, down here. And when you get stuff to here, you know, if there wasn't a giant block of wraiths there, <laughs> you get stuff to here, you can start shooting across there. So I feel like whilst the middle of the board is very um, dense, I feel like the flanks are exceedingly uh, open to some... Uh, some firepower. I still think you need indirect, uh, which is why this is obviously Simon doing this over here is a bit of a problem. But you still need uh, indirect. But um, I think that there is more opportunities for direct firepower here than I previously would have expected, and there is opportunities here for super heavies that I wouldn't previously expect because it looks like you know at the terrain map I wouldn't be able to, you know I couldn't drive around a super heavy, but actually this bit is open on the terrain map. So even though I couldn't see over it, I could drive a shadow sword to here, no dramas. Blast away. And start blasting away. And then um, again, these corner bits here are quite open. So you would be able to start going in here, going in here and start seeing into the middle. So um, unfortunately, I won't be taking a shadow sword to Adepticon for uh, mm -hmm. real life for difficult reasons. I've got to transport it over there and it's a bit of a beast to get in a case, but it's something to be aware of when you are looking at terrain and planning your list for tournaments. So Simon, I was going to see who was going to go first, but you've, you've, you've probably done something. I have. What have you done? Well, uh, the, the deceiver. He deceived me. <laughs> I have been deceived. But this is why I think it's quite an interesting model. Um, I like it. Um, just the Lord Solar could do this and I always forget. Can it? <laughs> I always forget. You didn't, I didn't even know he could do that. <laughs> so you've, the Deceiver allows you three redeploys. Yeah. I speak from position like, I feel like I know what I'm talking about yeah. now, but up until five minutes ago, I didn't know he could do this. We did. We talked about that in the uh, army list. I didn't listen. <laughs> 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 so basically, the race that were there have gone over to here yes and you are doing this because you're and the deceiver himself has come over here yeah. so you have, you have taken what should be a dawn of war deployment and turned it into table corners yes fruity now um we actually spoke about this off camera and obviously with being tall and practice we know we're sharing we're, we're playing with an open hand but we're also sharing feedback as we're going along and one of the things i said to Simon was this is a very interesting maneuver because it does take a lot of my firepower out of the game yeah and mass allows you to massively like overload and over the course several turns maybe sweep down here but i also said simon i was absolutely terrified when these guys were here because i thought they were going to come in and start tagging up my firepower so i said simon don't change your decision based on that because i wouldn't have told you that yeah, 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 obviously yeah. uh if it was a tournament but keep that in the back of your mind because if this doesn't play, pay it very well may do but if this doesn't for whatever reason uh, uh pay off then we know for when we go to adepticon and that's kind of, if you've got a similar matchup, that's the place to go. Yeah. Um, but this is why doing tournament practice is so, so important because you don't know which one of those is going to work until yeah. you try it. My, exactly. my, my, my thought process was that I could probably tag up two tanks. Yeah. But those wraiths will then die. They won't. They'll take a lot to kill, but they're also not going to kill two tanks because they're not very punchy. Mm. So actually, by doing this. I'm still having the same net effect of kind of taking two tanks out of the battle for a while. Yeah, 100%. Because uh, those ones over there aren't doing anything now. Yeah. So that, that's that's the... This is why I, it's my kind I like it. You've you've hugely overloaded one flank. You have done uh, what I often talk about, which is force concentration. I recently pulled a similar manoeuvre with uh, my Death Guard in the battle port when I took on some Imperial Guard. And... Um, 
I basically put 90% of my army, I had a land raider and two uh, two rhinos for the plague marines, and the only thing that wasn't on this flank was a uh, one more land raider, and I just went and overwhelmed one area and then munched my way down the guard line. Yeah. So you're, I did that to someone, and now it's been happening to me! <laughs> my God. Well, uh, interesting. Yeah. We'll see if it works out. Uh, shall we see who's going to go first? Yes. Now, these are not the two and four dice. These, these are, are the two, other ones. And we're dice. using a different dice tray today. We're using the world's smallest dice tray, compliments of uh, Tank Commander Watchdog, yeah. uh, Jameson. I met him last time I went to Adepticon, and uh, he and he had one of these, and he bought one for me. Yeah. Very, very kind. Well, so well, as we played that game together. Exactly, exactly. So, Jameson, Simon, and I want to say a big thank you for, obviously, the dice tray and everything, and uh, hopefully we'll see you there this year. A three, it's not a two or a four. 50-50. Two or a four coming up. Ooh. 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 I quite wanted to go first. Yes, I, I actually wanted to go first for a change. My God. Well, you didn't. Yeah. And now it is time for me to destroy you. Do a bit of shooting. <laughs> End of Imperial Guard command and movement phase. Turn one. There was lots of scouting in the movement. I scout moved this chimera up to here, uh, and then I move move moved it, and then moved it 13 inches. This means it's gone 19 inches, which has allowed it to draw line of sight onto these tomb blades. I don't necessarily expect to kill the tomb blades, but I'd rather do it from the comfort of my chimera than have to start getting infantry out and everything. Also, there wasn't a lot of other places for me to to, to go. So uh, this tank commander has moved up to here. Uh, he actually needs to do it a little advance so I can do that. I'll do that off camera. Uh, this chimera has come up behind him and everything else started swinging round to here. Uh, the reason we've done this is we're trying to, A, we're going to try and get a bit of a line of fire with the old hunter killer missile over there. B, we're trying to hold an objective for the next turn. Uh, and C, uh, we're just trying to start swinging around. I did think about swinging around this way, but then I remembered that if I try and fight Catan... I die. <laughs> I've tried this before. You're not an orc, though. I mean, no, not I, like orcs. That's... I tried doing it with guard. Um, I put my entire army into one of them. It didn't die. So I'm now, I've got a, a different policy. They are ridiculous. Yeah, they're, they're ridiculous. They should be either way more expensive. Yeah. They should be one Catan per army. You pick one, one Catan per army. Or you keep them the same points, but you give them the feel no pain or the half damage but not both. That's the way I would do it without completely rewriting everything about them. They've done it that with Eldar before where they literally went to the Wraith Guard and went, you don't have that ability anymore. <laughs> they need something. It's, yeah. it's, uh... But as it's a tournament, I'm not complaining about them. It's a tournament. You meant to bring us up to a tournament. Yes. It's just, uh, it's how do you counter something which is so gnarly. Yes. Uh, now this Chimera has scout moved and moved over to uh, here. Uh, this Chimera has done the same thing. You'll see where these, these green dice are, not necessarily this one, these two green dice here represent uh, how far the wraiths can move and charge. So I've stayed a comfortable inch over that so that I'm not within their charge range. Uh, that's where they can move to. That's where that unit can move to. And this, both of these units are over, essentially over um, uh, 22 inches away from you. So there we go. Um, well, that's my intention anyway. If I need to move them back an inch, I will do. Uh, but speaking of wraiths, um, we've got a chimera that's going to come up here. And I'm going to try and charge these wraiths because I feel like they're not very good at killing vehicles. Um, and uh, if I can do that, then it will tie them up for a turn, which is my plan. If um, if you'd stayed there and I'd got first turn, I was going to do that with two chimeras. Uh, I'm going to try with just one chimera. If it dies, then I know I should have used two chimeras. You could move away. Yes. Are you going to? No. Nope. You're saving the CP. Saving the CP. Okay. There we go. Um, and then it's just my secondaries. I've got investigate signals and capture the outpost. I'm going to bin off capture the outpost at the end of my turn. That's a Simon draw. <laughs> That's a Simon draw. Investigate signals is fine though. I can get four points from it. So I'm going to do it with this infantry squad that's disembarked. I'm going to do it with this chimera over here. And that is my movement and command. Uh, we are now going to uh, do some shooting. But I'm getting some dice together shooting. I was watching, uh, one, I had a comment on one of my bat reports uh, the other day, and uh, it, it did, it, it sort of made me think a little bit. Um, 
Someone said, Morning Glory, why do you always CP bait your opponent and say, do you want to CP for that? Or do you want to do something about that? And I'm like, I'm not CP baited anyone. <laughs> I'm reminding them that they might have an opportunity to use a, to use something. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so it's interesting how uh, sometimes something that you think is a yeah. nice gesture can actually come across uh, uh, the wrong way. But it's it's always the medium when obviously things do get lost in like editing and stuff. So it didn't uh, it didn't bother me in any way, shape, or form. I, I more found it interesting and thought provoking than anything else. Now. Simon, I'm going to use green dice for the green guys. I'm going to use orange dice for the orange guys. Great. First thing I'm going to do... The, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot uh, this chimera at these wraiths. Okay. Do you want to do anything about that? Because no. you're be, not trying to bait you, because no. you have a stratagem, don't you? So, which allows you to... So you're shooting. You've got that chimera yeah. indirect. Yeah. And the, and the Lehman Russ. That's it. And that guy over there with into the... Yeah. Okay, so I th this guy into... Actually, I'll tell you what I'll do first. I'll do my tank, who's only got one target, into here. Okay. Now I'm not CP baiting you. No, no, no. no you, you're correct. gonna let that go through. Yeah, crack on. Okay, that's fine. Because um, you could, the reason you do have, just for the viewer's knowledge, you have a stratagem that makes you essentially pseudo loan operative. Yes. Cool. Uh, so it's a, it's a green, it's, a, it's an orange tank, so an orange dice. Uh, so we are uh, D6 plus three shots and blast for plus one, so D6 plus four in total. It's a big one. I will be discarding a CP at the end of the turn, and I want two for my turn anyway, so be rude not to. It's technically better. So that's three shots there plus four. So seven shots. Now, uh, because you are on an objective, and by the way, if this does change your mind, you, I'll let you use a CP if no, you no, want no. to. Um, I have four rerolls. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. So one lethal because I stayed still, two misses, those regular hits, and then re-rolling, uh, one miss. Are you right? I got one extra hit. There you go. Uh, now I'm strength 10 versus toughness. Six. So threes to wound. I've dropped two. So these will be uh, four saves, and these are AP minus, uh, just AP minus one. So... Uh, you will get cover. Well, presuming you take the wounds on these guys, yeah. you will get cover. Yeah, I think just four up, four up, to be honest. So uh, I don't think it makes a blind bit of difference. Um, just quickly checking. No, the three up. So you'll have a three up save. Yeah, so so you should have four three up saves. Right, okay. Uh, no, I need to get a bit of practice. That's what I'm you want to see? You're not, are you, yeah, you're I'm not, not going to see. You're not going to Okay, definitely. Yeah, I'm not CP baiting you. No, 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 no. That's right. the last time I'm going to make that joke. Right. Three ups. So one goes through, three damage. And I've got a five ups on my pen. Okay. So two, two goes through. Okay. Uh, so there's one left on two wounds. Yep. I will now go for the uh, plasma cannons. I will overcharge these. Uh, that will be four shots. Uh, two from each gun and then a blast from each gun for six shots. Now, uh, what's interesting about the Lehman Russ battle tank is its ability doesn't just affect its battle cannon, it affects the whole tank. So I'll get four rerolls on this. So hitting on threes, so that's two lethal hits, three regular hits, and a reroll, which is a hit. Uh, I'll be wounding you on threes again. Uh, so that'll be four wounds. Now these are AP minus three, so even with cover, you're gonna go on to your four, your four vulnerable save. Uh, three have gone through. Now, these are two damage each. So, first guy has died. And then I can do the back of the two at the yes. same time. And um, he is alive on a wound. Uh, it would be rude to not try and give you the 50 cal. <laughs> so, get on that 50! Whoa, baby! Three wounds. Uh, three three up saves. Two go through. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm not saving well here. Uh, but it still gets the injured one. Yeah. And then we've got a Laz Cannon, four rerolls. That's a hit. And it's a wound, AP minus three, so a four up save. No, D6 damage, that's six damage. Oh, He's alive on a wound. Just. Uh, I will fire my Hunter Killer Missile because it's always best to fire them off early so you don't forget about them. I get a reroll on that. 
No, of course. I, di I didn't say Eagle One. <laughs> I didn't say Eagle One. No. Okay, so uh, that battle tank has, has gone now. So now we'll come over to the Chimera, who's going to shoot into here. Uh, we've got a Storm Bolter, because that's what he's, he's modelled with. Uh, we've got two hits. Uh, no wounds. Uh, we've got a multi laser. I believe the multi laser has got four shots now. Ooh. It's hit you three times. It has wound. We should toughness six? Yeah. We need you twice. Was it toughness strength? It's strength six. I know it's okay. Uh Three up save. You're fine. And then we've got the lads going to raise. Oh. <gasps> I'm using the wrong colour dice. That's the problem. One minute. <laughs> That's the issue. So lads going to raise. Here we go. This this will do. It'll do much better now. Oh no, it didn't. <laughs> oh god, superstition hasn't paid off. Stevie Wonder lied to me. He did a great song about superstition, and then it didn't. It didn't pan out. Uh, don't know wounds because you are tough and six. And then uh, heavy bolter. Ooh, Stevie, I take it all back, baby. Uh, God, I've got five wounds now. Five hits. Which equals a wound. A whole wound. If you want. So, uh, three up, Tom. On this guy who's wounded, yeah, you... It's you every point of your model, isn't it? Is it every point or one... I know, it's, it's every point of your model and one point of line of sight oh, from okay. my model. I believe, chat, correct us if we've course, got that wrong. I sorry. believe on a fourth save. Made no difference anyway, so it's two damage. So he does go down. Chat, please let us know about that because we need to make sure we get that right for the tournament. It's the, uh, the I say chat, I mean comment I'm, section. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure that it's just, you just get... Covered everywhere. Uh, it is. <laughs> if in doubt, we'll say you get cover. We haven't got it perfectly with the terrain layout, and um, you got one anyway, so it doesn't matter. So, but if a, but we'll say for there, you, you did have cover, and then the comment section can let us know which way it should have gone. Uh, that's all of his firing there. Um, I really should have fired my uh, Manticore first because it gets four rerolls on um, on units with more than five models in. But big rip. Are you an infantry oh, and a wraith? Word, infantry yeah. and beast. Yeah. Beastie. Beastie boy. Uh, well, I'm going to put the... Put the manticore into here. Okay. Number of shots. Uh, four. Hitting on fours. One hit. Would have been nice with full rerolls, but I shot my units in the wrong order. I didn't get a wound, though. So for minus two, so for minus one, overall. Three damage. I've not saved well with these at all. You've not done well. Hey, there you go. And the bits are there quite badly injured. The big question is, you go jump on the table? You go, no, she, 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 you washed out. You washed out. <laughs> um, the big question is, do I basilisk them or basilisk them? I think I'm going to basilisk them because I don't think I will kill many models from there anyway. But I would like to slow them down to reduce their likelihood of gnarling around in the middle objective. Six shots uh, plus blast, so seven shots. Hitting on fours. Okay, no auto wounds, but a decent smattering of hits. So you have been slowed down and you have been wounded uh, four times. AP mass one in total. I'll give you a little... Commissar face, so that you know you're slow. There you go. So three ups. Uh, oh, it's the last one in total, two. so... Yeah, yeah, sorry, four ups. Yeah. Four, yeah. Indeed. And you're fine. Uh, I feel that was the right call in the end. Uh, any more shooting for me? Um, probably just a cheeky hunter killer over here, and then the chimera over there. So we'll bring the dice tray over. We're going to fire everything for that chimera into here. Hunter could miss out. Eagle one. Fox two. It's a miss. Every time. <laughs> uh, we've got the uh, multi laser. Two hits. No wounds. I'm imagining you're not to the six. No. Uh, no actually, that's just, uh, heavy bolter. Three hits with the sustained hit. Uh, and I've got two fives. Uh, so you can't. Yeah, it's eight. I was... Yeah. So two wounds with the heavy bolter. Because they're strength five, but nothing with the help. So, uh, minus one, but you're in cover. You're okay, fine. Anyway. You're fine. Uh, Storm Bolter, but not in rapid fire range. One hit, no wounds. Laz gonna raise. 
Three hits. If I can plink a wound off. Oh, there's no point in plinking a wound off, is there? Uh, two wounds. If you could uh, fail both of these and then uh, only get a D, only get a one on the uh, reanimation, that'd be perfect. Yeah. Then I'd actually achieve something. <laughs> uh, all right, so that's that over there. Uh, last bit of shooting for me is going to be uh, everything from here into here. So we're going to have um, two flamers coming out the back for a total of nine hits. What's the toughness of a two-blade uh, man? T4, okay. Not tough. We're only on fours then. Checking, actually. Okay. I didn't get any fours, so fortunately... No toughness five. Cool. Uh, well, five wounds, uh, no AP, but ignoring cover. So, I'm going to say pop, pop that on ten for him. Ten? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, no AP, but no cover, yeah. No AP, but no cover. How many? Four, yeah? Yeah. Uh, four. But I think it was four, yeah. I feel like it might have been more than four. Now the save start coming in. I feel like it might have been five. I'll go back and check. Put it to one side and we can we can do it in a minute. Roll it, see if you... You thought you made it anyway, so no worries. Um, and then we've got... I was going to burn you, man! <sighs> Rude. All right, now we've got the heavy bolter. Three hits. Heavy bolter. One wound. All right. Uh, so... Uh, Are you four, four up, yeah. Did you minus one to hit for the bolter? No... But I don't know if I... I'll check. Uh, we'll put, I'll just re You know what? We'll just redo it. Simon, I rolled three fives to hit. Yeah, there you Someone's go. actually died. Damage two. Yeah. Probably to kill so the nearest one because I might charge you. Yes. No, oh, guard charging. It's, a, it's disconcerting to say the least. So heavy bolter's gone. Flame has gone. So now we've got the uh, the heavy bolter on the on the turret. That doesn't hit. That, that doesn't hit at all. Uh, and then we've got the storm bolter doesn't hit and then we've got the lance gonna raise so there's nine shots there i need three more not in the tray many misses many misses many misses i hit a statistical amount i have wounded probably a statistical amount no damn it you're fine all right so jad hazardous Hazardous on the plasma cannons, you're right. I take one, so I take three wounds, so I've got ten left. Uh, use the use your dice if you're well you've got, yeah, I've got, I've got you've got a bunch of uh, You can have yellow. That makes sense to so me. You've got ten left, yeah. I've got ten left, yeah, took three wounds. Uh, and then charges. So I'm gonna go for a charge over here, try and tie you up. That should be in with an eight. And then I've got uh, a charge over here to try and tie you up. Seven. Got to get my bum around the corner. So uh, should we have a little? So I've got. I don't think that's going to be enough. No, because you, yeah. Um, no, it's not going to be enough. No, that's, right. that's fine. But the chimera over here will happily make it in because it'll basically just drive straight forward into engagement range. There. Yep. With your doodah. No turning required. Uh, so no CP because I uh, will have one at the end of my turn when I've been off capturing the outpost. Uh, so it's just attacks, but no tank shock. Tank shock would be a fine thing. So I've got three uh, three attacks with my uh, armor tracks. I have hit you three times. I don't mean to alarm you. Uh, it's not on the tray. Uh, I've only wounded you once though. Uh, you you did get run over. How many? Just one. Just one. You did get one over. Two left. Nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you want to attack me back? Yes, it would be rude not to. It would be rude not to. Hello, Mr. Man. I'm just getting the little bits of... Do you want to come and say hello? Are you going to come and say hello? Oh, he's a good boy. We're going to come up. We're going to come up. Oh, we're going to get a cat view. <laughs> da -da -da. Battlefield view from the cat's perspective. There we go. <laughs> he can just stay in. Right, so uh, these are hitting on uh, fours, re-rolling ones because it cannot set court. Okay. Give you a kiss. Three ones. No. Nope. No, I'm not your doomstalker this time. I apologise. Don't worry. I know where it is. His legs were very relaxed. Uh, I'm wounding you on fives, I believe. Uh, yes. Toughness nine. Yeah, fives. 
No wounds. Nice. Uh, and then the. Uh, I mean, oh no. <laughs> uh, Technomancer uh, uh, is fearless. Two hits hitting on force. Don't know why I'm even bothering to be honest. He's uh, got a hit. He's only gone and done it. No, there you go. That was great. Well done, me. Operation tie up. See. My instinct, if I hadn't played against World Eaters recently, well, I said recently, in the last six months, when I, my instinct was just to hide and stay back from them. And then I realised they actually don't do very much damage to vehicles. Yeah. So you, I've applied my lessons from the World Eater game and been like, I can charge you and I can force you to fight what I want you to fight. That guy's going to die. He's going to die. <laughs> but he has made it so I'm not going to get turn one charged by raids because they're slow. Yeah. And they're now not able to fall back and charge. Yeah. So, making things happen. Making things happen. Um, I think you would have been... I think it, with me getting turn one, the more I think about this, going over there was quite a good move. Yeah. Because if I tied you up here and then started bringing I my th th three, killed, yeah. three tanks in... I think you'd have killed the unit, to be fair. Yeah. So, you, uh, you, you, did, you made the right call, I suspect. Uh, but I guess we'll find out when we go over to Necrons. Turn one. Necron turn one, movement and command completed. Sir Tombblade bravely ran away. Yes. He's got the dice there. He, he has, he has, don't worry. I've, I've got him on. On a diddly out of a wound. I know. I mean, I need every wound I can get. They come back, apparently. <laughs> so you, you run away. Yeah. I mean, it's the right move. You, you just, it's just, you, you're, you're just a... Just very against my sense of a guardsman honor, sir. They were there to do a job, and the job didn't wasn't required this term with the card, so they went, yeah. <laughs> so, you know. I love it. They're on break now. Yeah. There you go. Union mandated break. Uh, these guys, you healed, got one guy back, and then healed, and again, because of your uh, leader, and that got you an extra wound. So in total, you've regained one, and one got a, um, a, wound. a wound back, essentially. Cool. So in total, four wounds back across yes. the unit. Nice. Uh, this guy went back to full health. Yeah. And the rays are just scuttled lightly forwards. Yes. Not too far. No. Interesting. There's a lot of point giving you too many shooting opportunities. This is true. It's very, very true. And then teleporty man has run forward, but has not teleported. No, he has teleported. He has teleported because he was all the way back there. Yeah. And he's advanced and he's got himself to there. Yeah. Cool. He can't charge. He has an assault weapon, yes. so he can shoot. Yeah. Deceiver and Big Nige have come cometh forward. Yeah. And Scarabs and uh, other guys have just gone forward a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So uh, and for your secondaries, you are old school. You're a boomer, so you're using the cards. <laughs> I'm using the app. I'm Janet. Jan uh, I'm, Janet. You're, Janet. you're a boomer. Anything? Any, were you born before 2000? Yes. Boomer. I'm a so, boomer. Yeah. <laughs> Simon. You were born before Google. Well, I know, yeah. So you were born go. before Google. So you I, know, if I, I said, to, what's I, Ask Jeeves, yeah. you would know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I went to, when I went to university, there was no, didn't have the internet at home. When I came out of university, we did, which made for some very interesting. But anyway, that's, that's a whole social. Some internet research. That's a whole <laughs> uh, different conversation about uh, people born in my year. Exactly. As my one of my old bosses used to say, when he started his, before he retired, when he started this job, water was free and he paid for pornography. <laughs> and now it's the other way around. Oh. <laughs> that was his retirement speech. Fair enough. <laughs> now, in terms of uh, secondaries, uh, that's a bit of a whiplash of a topic yeah, change, isn't it? You've got engaged on front of behind enemy lines. Yeah. You're not doing behind enemy lines. Nope. You're going to bend that off at the end or going to keep it? I'm going to get rid of it. Bend off, yeah. That's pretty, pretty, pretty legit. And then engaged on fronts, you have achieved. Because yes. cha, cha, and cha. So we're all getting some points. I don't mean to lie, Simon. We've had a fairly equal, I know, yeah, equal a secondaries. Bit worrying, that. My God, sir. My God. So when I'm not bringing a meme list and you're able to actually pull a card that is, <laughs> that is scorable, it, uh, it, makes, it makes for a game. Yeah. It's certainly one of the games of all time. All right. So uh, any shooting, Simon? Yes. Where are we going to begin? We'll start with the Doomstalker into... This. How many shots? D6 plus one. What is the ballistic skill? Uh, it's four, but he's heavy and he's not moved, so three. Three. Uh, damage? Uh, three. It's strength. It's D6 plus one shots. Hitting on three. He's re-rolling everything because I'm in the deployment zone. Strength 14, minus three, three damage. 
I've got a choice here. Of course, uh, I can always whiff on the number of shots, which is, would be very... Very you. Yes. Um, the four rerolls are making me sad. I was thinking of popping smoke. Uh, I am not going to. Fair enough. Because the Chimera is expendable and the guys will still get out onto the objective. Yeah. And that's the important bit. So continue. Here we go. That's going to be one or a two. One can only. It to be a fine thing. It wasn't. So I'm glad I didn't pop smoke because I think you would have overwhelmed ah. my primitive uh, monkey technology. I am, I'm, just, I'm just a monkey to you, aren't I? Like this... Uh, uh, in this, you're the advanced cyber race. Well, I'm, I'm just ants. Yeah. I, he, he, this, isn't, this isn't a war. And he like this a war between men and ants. <laughs> Bit of a quote for you there. Uh, threes. Threes indeed. Uh, and smoke would have only saved him from one. Well. Uh, ah, but the re-roll. Here it comes. All right, okay, okay, okay. okay, uh, okay wounding okay. you on threes. Uh, strength 14, toughness nine. Four rerolls, because you're in the power grid, I, is that correct? No, it's only shooting. Dating? Yeah. Not to wounding? Not to wounding. Okay, understood. So, three saves. Yeah, but minus three. Um, I believe I will be getting cover You'll be getting there. Cover. So, minus two, put me on a five-up save. I stopped two of them. Of course you do. <laughs> Naturally, sir. Naturally. <laughs> um, can I use some of your dice? Yes. Right. That okay. makes me sad. Play one thing for it. This is what I'm saying, Simon. Mech guard. It's an it's a seventy point vehicle that just tanked a Doomstalker. No, I, no, I agree. I'm, I'm, I'm on board with you. I'm you are, of course. You're still eating, Simon. Yeah, of course you are. Yeah, yeah I'm on board. Uh, chat. Board. By the way, I want you all to insist that Simon brings Steel Legion to Adepticon, not Necrons. <laughs> and the reason for this is that if Simon does it and I do it. When we do the singles, that we'll both be running guard, which is, of course, awesome. But when we do the teams, we'll be able to break our forces down so everyone on our four-man team can be running mech guard. So even though this battle port is going out after we've been to Adepticon... Who is it? Please. <laughs> uh, not, not, not a free Adepticon... Uh... I might. I see. I might, we'll see. You know, we don't know. Yeah. So when I send it to Evan, if I send it in time... Oh, fair enough. We might. Maybe. Maybe. All right. Uh, just, yeah, put the pressure on him. Yeah. Anyway, I'll just not read the comments for till I get that. I will, I will, I will <laughs> print them out and put them through your letterbox. Right. Anyway, big Nige. Big Nige. D three shots. D three into the camera. It's two. Hitting on twos. Of course, customary. Wounded on threes. Naturally, AP. Uh, minus two. Uh, I'm not getting cover there. Uh, nope. Damage through. Seven damage. That's uh, fruity. So I will have. Uh, Four left. And then we'll go with uh, the Deceiver. You're yes. not a character, are you? Uh, I mean, he is a bit of, he's a bit of a cheeky boy, but he's not a character. Uh, that was worth a try. So, uh, hit you on twos again. Oh, God. I thought you said this guy was rubbish. Well, it's not great. I'm going to be wounding you on fives. Oh, that's not idea. I've got devastating wounds, though. Oh. Oh, just the one. Just the one. Wow. He deceived me on how good he was. No, he's not. <laughs> he's, he's just, he's sticky. He's not that. Uh, uh, AP? Minus one. Uh, it goes through damage. One. What? No, it's honestly, it's he's what? Not. This is why no one runs him. Why you run him is because what I did at the beginning. He's uh, he's very deceptive. <laughs> uh, and now uh, the transcendent into the same target. Pink dude. Okay. Is he better? Not really. Uh, so why is everyone going on about? Well, he is. The, the tanky, I mean, this one, I mean, it's sustained hits. They're, they're better in combat, basically. Ah. Uh, he's got precision, so. Ah. I mean, I was kind of a bit sad that you didn't bring your inquisitorial blob. I mean, there's uh, there's still time <laughs> at Adepticon itself. Uh, two, at minus two. AP, uh, damage, sorry? Uh, D3. I, I save one, so if you get a big, uh, big five or six, no. Well, that's all right. Gives me something to charge at. I know, I kind of would have liked him to, to die and then you wouldn't have been able to get as far forward. Um, charges. Okay, off you go. Bit I'll say, whilst you do this, we just look how happy this cat is right now. That's because I'm here. All right, you were doing all of the, the soft eyes before. Are you not doing it now? No. You fall asleep on top of the camera a moment ago. <laughs> oh, well. Big Nige. He's in. And the Deceiver. Well, He's deceptively long charge. Yeah, there you go. 
So you only have to base, so you, if you can fly around, you probably can do, but obviously your you deceiver might have... But you, you charged with Nige first, didn't you? So yeah. it might be a bit harder to... We can get to there. Okay. And he's just going to go, bosh. Cool. There you go. Right, shall we start with Big Nige? Yeah, go on then. Let's see. I've heard he's rubbish in combat, especially against vehicles. Again, anything over the noughts. Okay. He generally is. Uh, I'm going to go for the uh, the strike, which is six, six attacks. Wounding your arm threes, devastated wounds. Oh, I don't think he's long for this world. Dead, there's a dev there. <laughs> I imagine that's more than two damage. Uh, have you got a uh, minus four, so that's straight through. Yeah. Very. Uh, so it's 10, 12, uh, 18 damage. Uh, I think he's gone. <laughs> but uh, will he take you with him? Explosion! Explosion! No. He's gone as. He's dead, Jim. There we go. Is that it? Uh, you can get him onto the objective, yes, but I don't think you can get the deceiver. That's fine. Cool. My God, it's only he's only gone and done it. Well, is that Necron turn one? It's me done. I got engaged. Uh, you got engaged. All right, so that's three points in the bank for the Necrons. Let's go to guard. Turn two. Turn two for... His Imperial Guard, the Emperor's true finest. The armoured column has proceeded to consolidate on the highway and begun moving down to draw line of sight onto the Stalker of Doom, the Doom Stalker. Uh, we've also pushed this Chimera forward here. It's chasing after his prey. We've got him on the run, lads. Drive them, men, drive. Is he talking to the Chimera driver? He's talking to, 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 to the infantry in the back. Who knows? We're driving them. Uh, we've also... Uh, just brought this Chimera forward a little bit here because we want to have an anti-deep strike zone but also be in a position where we could poop onto the objective if need be. Uh, finally, we've stayed still with him because he's uh, he's going to try and shoot some stuff and we've stayed still with all of this stuff over here for a glorious last stand. <laughs> That's my style, sir. Um, and this stuff moved in here. This moved. For, uh, Simon decided... Uh, I said Simon because he... Simon was on the phone. <laughs> So normally, if it was tour a tournament, I wouldn't, you know, if we're playing, you know, meta modium, I wouldn't have said anything. But I, I moved there, and then I said, by the way, I've moved there because I can charge the wall because you're next to it. And so I went, thank you for letting me know. And then he he spent his CP to move forward. Uh, this means that I will now uh, proceed to charge him with this kind mirror, which um, doing things in sequence. That you know, you I would move there, you spend CP, I move up to here, uh, and then that will allow me to charge here. And I'm going to scorch the objective with this squad, and I'm going to um, cleanse the objective with the Chimera. Because I suspect that uh, these guys will be able to live till next turn, because uh, these guys won't be able to um, fall back and charge or anything. And I don't think Angry Floaty Man can get to me. Because if I've got a wall of uh, Chimeras here, uh, there'll be line of sight issues, even if he can see me. Um, I'm not sure how many shots he does, but I think I'll be able to at least live. I don't think you've got 10 shots. I don't think you'll physically be able to make the charge because you can't go through walls. So I'll be like here. So you have to fight your way through. We'll see. That's the plan. We'll see. Who knows? 40k is an enigma. <laughs> um, objectives to me were extend battle lines, which has been achieved with... And cleanse, which is being... This one's being cleansed over here. And we're attempting to cleanse uh, this one over here with this chimera. Um, which should go off, even if I get into combat, I should do it, because I'm just going to forgo my shooting. Uh, and so Scorched, Scorched Earth is really the one that uh, we're, we're thinking about. Um, these guys should be safe from any reserves that Sam brings on, uh, simply because, uh, as per the terrain map, there's no good angle. You can't, you can't actually draw the angle down there from reserve with the way the uh, terrain is meant to be, as per the, the, yeah. the map. Uh, don't worry, guys, we have talked about that off camera, so there's no... Uh, jibbing or anything going on there. Uh, so movement command done. Let's get into the shooting phase. And we are going to begin. Oh, should have said uh, take aim over here. Take aim over here. Um, and then I uh, went for take aim over here with my uh, grand strategist. Oh, no, sorry. Take aim over here with my grand strategist guy. Sorry. Yeah, he's not, I'm not going to put on that guy. Uh, he won't. This is the last time he's going to get order who sees, so we might as well have it this turn. Uh, there's no orders anywhere else so going over to the uh 
the old shooty shooty. Might as well shoot the stuff that we've got no no choice on. Um, so in fact, there's no shooting and you move away, is there? There's just uh, shooting just... and then I can't. Sh there's like I, I can't shoot you. The pseudo loan up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now there's no pseudo loan up over here though because I'd be in range, wouldn't yeah, I? That's right. Uh, so uh, we're going to go for the uh, Manticore first, and he's going to put everything. And I bear in mind, he can't, that will just be his, his missiles because he can't technically see over this bit because that's meant to be uh, a, a ruin. So it'll be his hunt, his, his seeker, his Storm Eagle rockets into these guys. Now that will be, um, that will be D6 plus two because a blast four year olds to hit. So that'll be seven in total. Yeah. That's five, six, seven. Uh, hitting on fours, re-rolling everything. Not in the tray. Uh, re-rolling everything. Okay, two misses. Uh, and then we've got uh, wounding on shred 10, so wounding on threes. So that will be uh, five. This will be on your four up in vulnerable save because it's AP2, but AP1 overall. So uh, three go through. So uh, three, damage. three damage each. First one. That kills a guy. Second one. Uh, I can do it all at the same time. You can do it all at the same time, yeah. Uh, three go through. So he's on, one left. he's on one wound left. So he dies, and then we go over to there. Uh, I will now go for my uh, infantry squad here, who's going to put everything they can into your wraiths. Uh, so it's actually it's a, um, a catachan unit, so we've got two flamers for six shots or six hits. Uh, wounding on fives. Wash them down, boys! Two wounds. Two wounds, no AP. That's a trip save. Uh, one goes through. Uh, five feel a pain. No, that they do manage to burn them. Don't shoot, let them burn. Actually, no, do shoot because still lots of them left. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, uh, well, sorry, seven last gun guys, and um, and a, and a last pistol. Now they are in rapid fire range, so I'll have to do this twice. So the first volley gets one auto wound because they've stayed still, and. Uh, uh, three regular hits, and then gets three wounds in total. So just remember three if you can, Sai. Yeah. And then this is the next volley and the Laz pistol, which got no auto wounds. Uh, Sixes. Uh, no, so three wounds in total. I think that's reasonable after after what had happened. Uh, not in the tray, so I need to reroll that. Uh, so two go through, two feel no pains. Uh, so just one, because, uh, and yeah, that's... Yeah, because yeah, that was the wounded one, yeah. wasn't it? That wasn't one left over. Okay, uh, and then we've got the basilisk, who's going to put everything into uh, into them. And so we've got the uh, the main gun, which will be uh, D six plus three. No no benefit of blast. It's just three. That's four. It's a real chance here to uh, to hurt them. Uh, I've got three CP because I didn't spend one in my last turn when I thought I was going to. So, uh, uh, but there's no, this is, uh, isn't actually worth any points to me. So I'm going to let that slide because I'm hitting on threes because I've, I've just get to shoot at you direct now with heavy. I have missed twice, but I've got a, an auto wound. Uh, just one wound. It has gone through two damage. Uh, does, does one. Okay. Then we've got the heavy bolter. Uh, heavy bolter. Not in the tray. Uh, it's not heavy. So it's one auto wound and one sustained hit, which also wounds. So it's two wounds in total, uh, minus one, because I'm shooting straight at you. So two four ups. One goes through, two damage. He is gone. There's one left. You know what this means, Simon? <laughs> you know what this means? It's coming in. Eagle one. Fox two. It's an auto wound. It's an auto wound. AB3. It goes through. Before I roll damage, I'm not trying to CP bait you. Is there any chance you'd want to use a CP there? Uh, what if you got left to shoot him? I could use the grenade stratagem on you. Right, yeah, in that case, no. Okay. Not on the trait. Superstitious must use the dice. That will be four damage in total. One for each wound. Oh. And that is unlucky. That will get him. 
they have saved absolutely terribly. You've done very badly. I didn't want to comment on it because uh, it could be frustrating when someone points it out, but they have, they've not performed anywhere near. We even said off camera, that shouldn't get that. No, it shouldn't be. But um, it, it did, unfortunately. Uh, but the, the man is alive, and I haven't really got anything else to shoot at him, and I'm, I'm, I might grenade him. How many wounds does he have? He's not top, he's only got four wounds, I think. I think I only get six dice on four ups, so it's not great odds. So I'll probably leave it over there. Um, oh, the shooting. Uh, let's go for a uh, auto cannon bozo into a doomstalker bozo. Uh, I mean, I have three. He'll be on a. What's his base save? Uh, three up, three or four up. Could you check for me? Uh, we'll, we'll cut the camera, but could you check for me because. If it's a three, if it's a three up, I might want to use overlapping fields of fire for my auto cannon. If it's a four up, I don't need to. Well, it's a, it's a three up, but I'm going to spend the CPC if I'm targeting. Fair enough. That makes sense. Um, so that means so I can't target you over there. So the only firepower of uh, of note that I have left, these guys can't see over here because of the terrain here, and the terrain map makes it very clear that you can't get an angle over there. So the only two things I think I've got is this. And this shooting into here, I think I can get an angle over to here. Yeah. Um, and that would be possible as per the map. And then that guy can come over to here and see there. So I'm just going to hose you down. I'm chasing you down with flamer chimeras. If only I had double heavy flamers on the chimeras themselves, <laughs> that would be quite spicy. Uh, so we'll bring the, um, the, the tray, because it's quite a light tray. We'll bring it over to the appropriate spot. So we're going to do uh, this chimera is going to put everything into, uh, that, uh, into that squad over there. Yeah, uh, so we've got a couple of flamers out the top. Nine hits. Okay, 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 okay. I'm keeping, for so, just so chat knows how uh, OCD I am. And Simon has accused me of being weird. I've cut, I've, I've put two different uh, colored dice in each pocket of my hoodie so I can pull out the right color dice when I'm shooting the, the Mordians when I'm shooting the, uh, uh, the other guys. But I've probably messed it up. I've, I've, I've definitely been mixing it, but I'm trying my best to keep them color coded. So, uh, Mordians, uh, wounded, you should have just five on a, on a Duda, needing fives. Uh, that's just the one. Oh, it's on a, it's on a slope, that's the problem. Uh, it's just two, two wounds. So two base saves on your Tomb Blades. Uh, so that will kill one. Yeah. And then we've got, um, the, uh, Heavy Bolter. Hey. Uh, and then we've got the, um, Multi laser. One wound. You get a, you get cover. There it goes through. Uh, storm bolter. I should be within 12 inches there. Uh, so three hits. No auto wound because I moved. No wounds in general. And then lots of las guns. So this is the best bit about cameras. <laughs> as a fellow Met Guard commander, you will this say. Is yeah. Legion play. No, man, you've, uh, I think you've, uh, so you, you, you've put the Mordians under pressure. They've, uh, they've not liked that. I should have. I knew I should take aim this guy. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, hey, uh, top is five, right? Yeah. Two wounds. One goes through. Nice. Uh, and gotcha. which, which camera was that? It's this one. Right, so totally. It won't make a difference, no. Uh, and then I've got the other camera, which is going to shoot at you now. So we'll come over here. So we've got a uh, double heavy bolter on this thing. Uh, this one does have take aim. So it misses, but gets a sustained hit back in. Only the one wound. Uh, whatever your base save is because of cover, that'll be enough. Uh, and then we've got um, the storm bolter, two hits. Oh, do you want to hear some good news? Uh, leaked towels. Yeah. They get um, lethal hits on everything in the first three rounds of combat. First three rounds of... Not when they stay still, like guard, just all the time. Jesus. You know how broken that was for guard in ninth? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, whatever your base save is. Uh, so I think four you're... Up. Four up, okay. Uh, and then you've got uh, the Lasgun arrays, and I've got the Flamer guys in back. I'm going to try and give the las guns the, the honour of the kill. Uh, da, 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 da. That was a very average amount of shooting, even though it looked really bad because of all the ones and twos. 
And then, uh, three wounds, because you're not T6, are you? No. And we got him. Yep, he's dead. That was, I think, after you uh, went for the, made the Doomstalker untargetable. I think that was an inevitability. But there we go. Uh, but still, it's a, it's a full, it's two dead units. I am okay with this. This is, things are happening. Um, now, I've got a bit more shooting to do. Uh, but uh, we'll do it off camera because it's the battle cannon again. And then it's going to be one chimera. End of guard, turn two. The battle cannon man, he went ham. He was like, on the way, fired an HE shell into the uh, scarabs, deleted three of the base, the plasmas went in and deleted another two and a half, and then the las cannon just got the last one. I do do a couple of hazards checks on him though. Mm -hmm. He's okay this time. The steam vents are the hot, they're running hot, but they're not, they're not over. Uh, and then I didn't, I didn't shoot over here because even though it was unlikely i didn't want to kill a, a wraith and then make my charge longer instead i charged him i tank shocked i did four wounds on tank shock simon made no feel no pains uh and then i ran in there and i ran one over a little bit so uh, you've not been very good on the save so far i've been pretty atrocious i think will be the uh it may turn around but we were sort of saying off camera the issue with an army that relies upon four saves it's very rare as it feel 50% of the time. You'll have some turns or even some entire games where you never roll it. And then the next battle round, the next uh, uh, turn or the next game, you ne you don't fail it. It's might be 50% over the course of your career, but game to game, it can be very, very, very swingy. Um, unless you're Harlequins then, apparently. <laughs> Back at Nathan Harlequins can do what they want. Not Tenton Harlequins, they're all dead. Uh, so that's the end of uh, my turn. I have... Um, I've cl cleansed two objectives... And I have extended my battle lines and I am attempting to scorch the, the crap out of that middle objective. That's the, that's the aim of the game. We'll see if I can, if I can do it. Uh, overall, I, this game is going, it's only turn two and Simon's not had his, his clap back yet. So I appreciate this is uh, perhaps getting ahead of myself slightly. It's gone better than I expected at this point. Um, I've managed to take a Wraith unit out, which I didn't think I'd do. And I've started to trim the other little bits away. I've taken a unit of Scarabs out, which means that Simon's got an interesting uh, question on his, on his mind when it comes to holding this objective. Uh, do the Immortals go out there and do it? They are the right choice, but then do they start getting blasted by the Tank Commander? Um, I've then started tying things up over here, and there's not any good place for Simon to come in with his reserves uh, unless he wants to put some anti-infantry destroyers against some metal boxes. Um, so I'm trying my best to screen him out. I'm trying my best to hold. This is, it'll be interesting if Sam decides to go over here and, and finish it off or if he ignores it. Remember, he has to go round as he is, uh, he is a monster, not an infantry. We're, we're creating dilemmas for the Necrons. These damn organic meat bags just won't die like they're meant to. They've decided to turn over a bunch of metal boxes. We shall see what Simon does to counter the uh, his Imperial Guard in his turn two. Here they come! The wraiths have fallen back into the keep! And they are gonna try... Well, they can't charge me or hurt me, but they can try and take that objective off me if I lose a lot of guardsmen. Yes. And in order to make me lose a lot of guardsmen, you have done this. You have moved Big Penis Man forward and Pink Dude forward. And uh, they can, we, we, even when checking how the terrain should be on the official terrain map, and uh, this is meant to be four inches tall, even so, both can see over and can get to my guardsmen here. Uh, and then we've had Big Nige and the Deceiver float forward somewhat yeah. for a charge into here. Because again, this wall actually only actually sort of ends about here. So the Deceiver could charge right in, and Nigel would have to go an inch forward and then charge straight in. So you'd... Uh, You'd be able to get into the middle. And your plan, such as it is, is to <laughs> sweep a flank and then take the mid. Yes. I don't mean to alarm you, Simon. Yeah. This is the same plan you used last time. Yeah. And the 17 battle reports before that. Yes. Is it a whole thing that they'll never expect us to try the same plan after doing it 18 times before? No. But the thing is, I always end up playing your horde armies. <laughs> so I have to... You Force, just, concentrate, and then take the there's, mid. There's, when I'm always playing at a, a, a numerical disadvantage... I mean, you could be you could be playing Steel Legion right now. Yeah. We could have guard-on-guard guard action. 
Just saying, just saying. Uh, I keep putting a lot of pressure on Simon to take the lead. He's not bending yet, like the uh, nope. necrodermis of an Ekron. I do need to uh, do my resurrection over here. For... Ah, over here? Yeah, yes. So he gets two back, and then he heals up for another two. So, Is he alive? Yes, he's back. Like he'd never gone away. It's just the one, is it? Or did there's there's five? One got run over, and one took a wound. So, so I healed two up, which got him to one. One, and then another two. So he's on. He's alive with taking a wound. Yes, that's right. Cool. I think that's what we were. That makes sense to me. Got to do that. There we go. All right. The beauty of a. Uh, Falling back and being able to fly, so just fall, flying over. So the tennis move, very tasty. I've got a bit of a hail mary for uh, for for uh, for my secondaries anyway. Ah yes, you've got assassinate and um, extend. Extend now. You've got extend, yeah. And you've brought the Necron Immortals out here, yeah. Um, and assassinate is one of these two, which seems. Oh ah, yeah, so it doesn't make any difference. Seems yeah. No, no, no. Sorry. Unlikely. I was, for some reason, I had that in my head. That was a tank. Right? He it's is but a not... humble tank, yeah, sir. So, so uh, yes, that's uh, not going to make any difference. All right. So, well, I'm just going to shoot him anyway. Okay, off you go. Um, how many see One minute. I had uh, I spent one. I had three beginning of the turn. I spent one on a reroll for him. One on tank shock. So I was down to one and back up to uh, two now. Um, what do they hit on normally? Twos. What's their damage? So he's only one, he's D6. Okay, so I'm going to spend one CP on smoke. That's so you're hitting okay. on threes now. But he's only got D3 shots, so... Okay, that's fine. I, was, he's, okay. I want him to live. Start with Big Nige. Three shots. Three shots. Hit on threes. Come on, lad. The smoke did not help. <laughs> Wounding your arm. I'm uh, toughness 11. I think it's threes. Okay. I'm hoping it's threes. It probably will be T uh, from 12, won't it? But we'll, do it, we'll double check it. We'll do it live. Twelve. So you're winning on threes. Come on, and it's d6 plus three. Right? Yep, it's it's tasty treats. He's dropped one. So it's two at minus two. And it becomes minus one because of smoke. Gives me the benefit of cover. So I've got a three up save. I'm going to roll this one at a time because I may want to use a CP reroll here. It's not another trait. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep that. It's the old smoke. <laughs> If I hadn't had smoke, that's why I, I, I love, I love the fact that Lehman Russ, every, every guard vehicle gets a smoke launcher. Yeah. You used to be able to pop smoke on every vehicle. Yeah. And now you can just do it on one. But you can do it, it used to be, what, each vehicle would do it once per game. Yeah. And now it's, you can do it as many times as you want on each vehicle, but you can only do it once per, per phase, essentially. Right. The, In the shooting phase. This guy, so threes. Who, where, who's shooting me, sorry? Oh, same thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one wound, I imagine. Wound. How much damage? One. <laughs> <laughs> that has that. What a wound! What a wound it was. Did more than Nige. Did more than Nige. That's true. Right. So He's let's... deceptively, devastatedly wounded me. Now let's see. This is a, not, you know, battle ending, but this is a pretty key moment, I think, in this battle. Over here. Yes. Uh, and I've just realised. You. Made a boo boo. I might just need to reposition where I drop him in. Okay. Oh, you said I should away from my tank? Uh, no, he could move on to there, but I'm out of range, is the problem. So you've got 12 inch range? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well. Do you, what, where else could he have gone? He would have gone there. Can you say an inch away from me? From my oh, vehicle? That would have just been a normal move. Yeah, you still say an inch away from me. Yeah. Okay, so you would float forward. Yeah. Okay. Are, there, are you in range? Yes. Yes. Simon, I'm just going to point to a, a little sword over there. <laughs> You're too kind. No, no, it's fine. We, you, it's catch it now. Yeah. So you know in the tournament it's a 12 inch range. Yes. There you go. Right. So because well, because this is just something I want to point out to the viewers: winning and losing here for Simon and I, frankly, does not matter. A win would be nice. <laughs> Simon's like, you yourself, a win would be nice, but the imp but the thing is, is make the mistakes now. Yeah. So, when Simon, so when Simon goes into Adepticon and he goes, I need to move, I need to get this guy in range, he'll remember, shit. It's 12. It's 12. So make the mistakes in the practice games, learn now, and then when you go to your tournaments, 
you uh, you won't make the same mistake again. Every single time I've gone to and I've not practiced, I have even just one single game, I've done significantly worse. Yeah. I had to learn on the job. Carry on. Right, so D6 plus one plus blast. D6 plus one plus blast. So, come on. So that'll be uh, seven. Uh, now you... D6 was one plus oh blast two sorry yeah. so you will get uh, you'll get eight now you're hitting on fours re-rolling ones because you've moved and you're no longer wholly in your power grid oh it's good oh it's very spicy these will be twos these will be twos okay not dropped any what is the AP minus four so it's going to go straight through so how many is it uh, six are you still in range? Uh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I had to do the blast, I think. I think so. Well, actually, now it's only one shot. That was, yes. Is it just, what is it, one shot? You're in. Okay, go for it. My dastardly ploy has not quite worked. <sighs> I don't think there's any way I can stop you from getting that, unfortunately. What? Um... Any way I can stop you from getting into range? If I like remove this guy, do I get? Do I drop out of range? Uh, Just check if I remove this guy and put this guy back here, because I was in four three three. So who is? No, it doesn't matter who I remove. You will be in range. That makes it easy. How many am I in range of there? Still more than. Uh, you in range? So when you shoot now, yeah, you are in range of four guys. Yeah. So I don't know if you've got blast or anything, but you no. won't. You won't get anything for yeah. it. Okay, so what's the number of shots? He's still got two more shots left. Oh, that, that, that happens at the same time. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean though. So. Yeah, so what's the, is it rapid fire? Yes, rapid fire, one. What rapid, um, how many shots is it? One. So he gets fire. one attack. Yeah, but it's actually only going to, yeah, one because you're not going to be with Yeah, it. I wouldn't have been in rapid fire, which misses. misses. Okay, and then we go over to the Catan. Yeah. I'm not rushing you here, I'm just double check no, 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 the shots. That's right, yeah. yeah. Yep, cool. So he's got six, assault, sustained hits, one. Okay. Twos and twos. Okay. Ooh, hang on. It's I've got a CP left. Yeah. I'm going to spend a CP. Right. I'm going to do it at the very beginning, if that's okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm I'm am calling in my favour. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to spend a CP for go to ground because I get a six up invulnerable save. Okay. Need to give me some orange dice. So I know I lost six before. Yeah. Don't worry, you can keep your, your shots there, so I don't think you've, you've not missed with any. Uh, just get them out of the tray so I can roll these. I've got three sustained as well. You've got three sustained, okay. Okay, so I, I lose um, four, not six. Okay. So I get the benefit of cover, and I get a six up and vulnerable save from go to ground. So we'll do something like that instead. So these will be on twos. I'll make it sure it's the guys on the objectives, right? Yeah, there you go. So these are, so these are uh, strength six. Yeah, uh, strength eight. Really on two zero yeah, either way. At least strength strength six, yeah. Uh, drop two. So. Uh, and what is your AP? Minus two. So Six it'll, sixes. Sixes again. How many? Seven. How many do I need to survive on the objective? Because he's the only, is he the only one in range? So he's OC one. So I need one guy to live. Uh, yes. Just one guy to live. I need two sixes. That's all I need. Ah! <laughs> In his name! There you go. So I have lost four guys. So there's two left. There you are. Goal. The old go to ground. These next ones are looking around and they're like, these fucking meat bags are popping smoke and they're diving into the dirt like, like look at them scrabble in the dirt my lord that's the face of a man who wished that the go to ground strategy did not give you a six of a vulnerable save and I, I better check that strat i'll double check it because i don't use it very often if i don't have it i'm all dead and you're yeah. fine but i'll double check it and if i have got it then um i uh, i'll have two guys left so we'll check that now in the name of the emperor you will not falter Six was invulnerable save. Completed it, mate. Simon had some choice words uh, off camera. Um, but it... Because it, <laughs> he made me take 13 saves, 13 six-up saves, and I passed five of them, which shouldn't have happened, statistically. Um, 
But it goes to show that just having a little... I never used Go to Ground. And I was, throughout the whole time that I was sort of, you know, I was, you know me and Simon were going through that, I was thinking to myself, there's something I can do here. I know it. It's not going to my brain. So I got to remember, Go to Ground is good for for, for jumping guardsmen out of, on two objectives. Um, now, that is the turn for the Necrons, I believe. No, I've got some charges. You've got some charges. Okay. Um, but... You so you said off camera that you think that is a pivotal point. Now, normally, obviously, when we're having like sort of fun battle reports, you know, we we sort of keep that chat off camera because we don't want to, you know, have like foregone conclusions or anything like that. But or but with this being tournament practice, it's important to sort of mark those pivotal points and analyze why we think it may have a huge swing on the game. So, Simon, why do you think that that is a pivotal point that is going to put the Necrons severely onto the back foot? It's not over over, but it's very much in the guards' court now. Well, from your perspective, my perspective that all this, which is the core of my toughness of the army, is now going to be in the middle doing nothing because the objective is going to go. Because the objective is going to go. Because I will spend my one CP for insane heroism to make sure that I retain control. Now we've double. Just sorry to interrupt you. We uh, had a little talk about if Sam could have done any his movement any different off camera. Uh, with his movement he had available, as far as we uh, can tell, he could have got one model onto that objective. So whether it had been a two OC wraith or one OC crypt tech, it wouldn't have mattered. But if it had been a two OC wraith there and only one guy had lived, you would have stopped it. Yeah. So it's so even with that, you know, people because I know some people would think themselves could Sam have moved differently. We've had a talk about that. Um, and we think that even you were getting one model in range of that, but you needed it to be either one or no guys yeah. there. Anyway, sorry, carry on. Yeah, no, so, and then I think I'm not going to hold that now. Uh, I will get it back. Because you can't, you can't loan up him. No. No. But you're just going to drive up and get out anyway. Probably. So that's, that's, so I could have held two. And if it held two... That would, I think, I'd have got in another turn or two. I think that would have. I think you get it. I think I can deny that primer to you for two turns. I think I kill him off it one turn, and then I dump ten guys onto it the next turn, yeah. and that's two turns of where you're not getting the primary you want. We'll see. We'll play. We'll I, see. I, you I, might, maybe I not. I think that was to me when I looked at that. I thought this is now huge, huge. Um, but you are. You are, you do you do often say this and then claw it back. Right. No, no, more. F I think at least fifty percent of the time, fifty percent of the time, no, it no, works no, every I, time. I, to me, I think that was really pivotal because now my army is completely out of position. Mm. The um, sweep and mid tactic, because it's a scorched earth mission, has um, I see. I say to Simon, he uses this tactic every time. I, I knew what he was... I could tell. Oh, he's going to go for the mid. He's going to dump all the stuff in the mid. He's going to overwhelm one point and go into the mid. Um, that's why I thought you started there. You were just sort of... You were getting ahead of yourself slightly in a funny <laughs> sort of way. Um, but that, I think, you know, those rays coming over here could have been quite interesting. But um, that going away is a problem. But you said off camera, you forgot it was scorched earth. I want to... I just... I didn't think about burning it that early, to be honest. Yeah. That, that, that's kind of... Um... Different. You don't often see that. You often see people burn in the last turns, not in the first few turns. Yeah. But, uh, but then now you know. Yeah. Again, now we know Adepticon, you will be armed with that knowledge. You might you might even burn it early in one of your games yeah. if the if, if you you know if the yeah, opportunity yeah, arises. Yeah. Now you've do you've got anything else? Sorry, any other comments on that no, mid situation? Just, uh, yeah. Charges. Charges. Where do you want to charge? Uh he is gonna charge uh both of them. Cool. Hopefully I'll make this. Seven. Nice. Work, so I can go there with them. That is nice. So yes, you can charge those. And you can destroy those. But you wouldn't be able to um, make it into a new combat or onto an objective. So it wouldn't get you close to the objective. So the Catan's OC wouldn't make a difference. Just thinking yeah, out, out, out loud. Out of yeah. six. Out of three. Uh, yeah. Well, no, but I've got to be within three of the edge. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, correct, correct, yeah. Uh, he's just going to charge this one. Seven, so he'll be able to go there. Yeah, he can go straight forwards. And then you can just uh, put him an inch back if he's going to, like, flop over and remember he's, where he's meant and to be. And then he's just going to charge. Yeah. Which I don't think... Uh, so... Oh, yeah, it's five. We said an extra. Five, add one inch on, he's in. Two, because we're going off if... Um, if anyone's curious why, obviously, he would normally have to go up and around and stuff, um, this wall 
wouldn't be quite this long. It would actually be more like here to here. Yeah. And then the the base, perfect base would cover this bit and this bit. So we're basically saying that he just needs to go around a little bit. Cool. Uh, attacks? Yeah, no. Nah. Just tell me your wins out of your sales sign. <laughs> no, I'm thinking I'm just there. Right, it's big Nige. Your, your cogitator is yeah. going. Cool. Right, let's do Nige first. Okay. All hit. My one. The customary. You must always give at least one dice to dice once. So or, or, or quite a few, apparently. That's two. Devastating. Uh, damage goes straight through then. It's D6 plus two, I think. You, you, I remember you telling me. Just checking, I got the uh, first one. I was saying to Sam, whilst he's checking, I was saying to Sam on camera, every single time he uses wraiths, I ask, how far do they move? And he says 10, and I go, you should check sure. it. And I've just, I haven't done it this time, because I'm finally, I just... Yeah, this is Because <laughs> they're, they're definitely 10, every power report. He's dead. He's very dead. Um, explosion. No, I used the wrong colour dice, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> And then do you want to do the transcendent onto the other one? Yeah. Now, I'm just going to move your deceiver back a slight smidge. We know where he's meant to be. I just don't want him to uh, fall over and chip because he's a metal model. So I'll put him back where he's... I'll nestle him in there. There you go, that should be so nice. this is twos, sustained hits one. Okay. So drop none, which is very unlike you. And then you have, uh, you've actually added one in. Makes a change. <laughs> Jeez, turn uh, the franchise around. Here we go. Uh, threes. So, one, two, I three. think you dropped eight, just a statistical amount then. Yeah, uh, five. Minus two. Minus three. minus three, sorry. Five minus three. I need my orange dice. Oh, one minute, one second. I might have some in this pocket. I've got some. I've got some. Um, five minus two. How much damage? Minus three. Minus three. How much damage? D6. Didn't pass any of them. 5d6 damage. Uh, very dead. Um, explosion. No. Guys inside. I wouldn't have charged him, obviously. Obviously, you wouldn't have charged him if uh, the uh, shooting attacks uh, had gone off because <laughs> that would have caused you to uh, potentially uh, not be able to hold the objective. Um, yeah, you know what I mean. Oof. Oh shit! Yeah, loads of them died. Uh, five guys died. I didn't. I didn't even look at the dice. Uh, so five men have died on the way out. That's actually, the, I think, the most I've ever lost <laughs> in one disembark. Where was that roll when I needed to kill them? <laughs> yeah. All right. I will pop them out. So I've got more guys on the objective. There we go. Let's need another flamer for that unit in a moment. So they only move forward if you could get into oh, gosh, combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, so Nige goes back. And there we go. It's uh, seven brave, beautiful guardsmen, but they have got the job done. They have held. Some of them died getting out of Chimera, but they held, and that objective now will be burned. Uh, that has put the Necrons into a very, very difficult position. Let's see what happens. Are we going to guard? Turn three. Movement and command, turn three for the Imperial Guard. The Emperor's true finest has been completed. We have driven forward, drive them men with our Chimera, our burning Chimera. We do, in fact, we do good work, these burning Chimeras. And um, we have now taken that objective from the Vile Necrons. And even worse, we've begun burning it. No, it worked once, might work again. Um, and then we brought a sentinel over here because um, it felt like a cool thing to do. And we brought this camera up here to try and lend some fire power. Uh, we've lined our uh, tanks up in this fashion here, which allows us to hold this objective. But they're all they're all in range of these wraiths, uh, except um, and this one and this one are within twelve inch range, which matters for if Simon pops his you can't shoot me stratagem. Um, but if he doesn't pop it on them, then they're all in range for just their regular shooting. Now you might think, well, why wouldn't Simon pop his don't shoot me strat on there? Well, I have made a little bit of a dilemma for him because um, I drew Assassinate this turn and he is a lone bozo. And so I've got these two which have stayed still, which aren't in lone op range. So if, he, if I choose to target hit that, him, 
he could line up it and make him kind of safe. In fact, he would be totally safe. Uh, and, I, and, you know, from this guy who can draw line of sight and these two. But if he does that, then he won't be able to protect his big unit of wraiths. Um, but then, of course, if he protects them, then I will have three units that can happily go after there if I need to. So I'm creating overlapping fields of fire. I'm creating dilemmas for my opponent because uh, we need to make sure... Uh, we'll just try and make it as difficult as possible for him, basically. You make it so there's no good choice. There's always going to be, ha going to be a, a negative uh, to whatever decision is made. So that's what um, we, t we talked about this in the uh, in one of the Oval Battle reports when I was playing against Alex. And he, you know, in the After Action report, we said, you know, he Alex is quite analytical. He's quite competitively minded. And he said, whenever you're playing like a, a tabletop game, and if he's played fantasy in the past, uh, he always likes to create... Prob dilemmas not problems because problems have solutions but dilemmas have no good outcome you go left you go right there's always going to be a negative so i really like that uh terminology so i have uh, stolen it and i am <laughs> i'm using it in, uh, in the power of force but credit to alex on that one um and for my second news i should say i got engaged in all fronts which i am doing little cyclops came back there uh and i also uh got um, assassinate so uh, we'll see what happens so that's my movement and my command uh, i didn't actually move this guy but that's fine he is just stopping uh, mr teleporty from being teleporty and that's important so now we will go to some shooting simon i am going so let me just if i ask about how you line up works if i pick one unit and declare, it you... declare it yeah. and then do i get to target a different unit afterwards or is it just wasted okay so we might as well go with because these two won't affect either way. So I'll select this guy first. Yeah. And I'm going to put him into there. Yeah, they're the ones we're going to line up. They're going to so. line up. All right. Uh, so that means uh, that these two tanks won't be able to shoot them. Uh, and uh, but, but these two and this will be able to. Now, with for my other target, what I'll do is I'll go long into the destroyer. Um, I'm only 24 inch range, so it won't be all of my shots. Oh, well, I think so, it's going anyway, to be fair. Uh, I'll, well, we'll see. I only hit on fours. Yeah. I only hit on fours. So um, we've got the two plasma cannons. I will, uh, I'll overcharge them. Gives me four shots. Uh, hitting on fours. Um, I have not stayed still. So I get two hits. And then uh, two wounds at AP minus three. Six up. He should be on. A, I think he's on a three-up save base. Yeah, so be six up. Have I got cover? Uh, I think you are clear as a daisy there, mate. Yeah. No, but yeah. it doesn't matter either way. Um, because I can choose to shoot you from the front here. Looking at the terrain map on the camera, I would have a clear angle to you. So his last four wounds. He's gone. Uh, my hazardous checks. I'm okay. All right. Um, the rest of his firepower will be wasted, Sarge. Uh, so this means I, I now want to fire. Think we'll go for the basilisk into this guy because I want to try and kill him with my artillery first. Yeah. So uh, basilisk. Ooh. Nine shots. D6 was three. Put and I got, I got a six. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, miss, miss, miss. So no auto wounds, but lots of regular hits. Toughness of a man. Uh, I think he's five. I'll roll it. It will make no difference. Uh, they've all wounded on a three or higher. So that will be six saves. Uh, at on total, AP minus one, taking into account your cover from indirect fire and probably the fact that you would have cover anyway. Uh, so five ups, how many? Uh, six. And how much damage are they? These are two damage each. Uh, he's taken eight damage. Yeah, he's dead. So he will be dead there. Now, the reason that's significant, uh, guys, is because it means it does give me the opportunity, if I want to, to uh, blast into here. Uh, what we'll do first, though, is we'll take the Manticore and we'll blast into here because there's uh, quite a few mortals there. And so I'll get lots of extra blast and I'll get lots of rerolls as well. So the Manticore is going to... Oh, that would have been lovely, but it's not in the tray. Ah, there you go. Uh, that'll be four shots in total for the, um, 
So I have five shots because you're a unit of ten. So roll a two, plus one for the weapon, plus two for blast. Hitting on fives. Uh, so I hit on fours, but with full uh, rerolls. That mass one to hit. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I got four hits in total, one of which was an auto wound. And uh, th two more wounds, so three wounds in total, uh, minus one in total. Uh, one goes through? Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Do I shoot with him? Well, he's only got one target, so he'll go after uh, them. So we've got uh, D, he'll fire everything, and it'll be D6 plus three, plus an extra one for blast for the main cannon. So that'll be nine shots in total. So six, nine. Hitting on fours against the wraiths. Ooh, that's a lot of misses. In fact, there's only three hits. Uh, wounding on threes. Only one wound. Looking good. We'll just go through three damage. Two feel no pains have been made. One damage. One damage in total. Uh, we've got the, go for the laser cannon next. Nope. And then we've got the heavy bolters. Uh, one extra hit because of sustained. Uh, two wounds. Uh, uh, one goes through, two damage. Two damage. <laughs> And then we've got the um, Storm Bolter, which gets one hit, does wound, uh, you're okay. And then the Hunter Killer, which does hit. Uh, strength 12 or 14, yeah, it's gonna wound you, but you're gonna be okay. Okay, so that tank didn't do uh, anywhere as near as much as I wanted. You just taken? He's dead. He had three wounds, didn't he? Yeah, so he's dead. Um, so uh, what we'll do now is we'll do this guy and he might as well go into a Catan. Now, out of all of these Catan, which one is the easiest to kill? Uh, well, the Transcendent oh, might bring with I've always said which, which one can I see, which will be none of them. Yeah. There you go, that'll be easy. Oh, yeah, that <laughs> um, so it's just going to come down to this guy. I've got my Sentinel that can shoot into here. We'll do that one first. So, uh, ah, I've made a mistake. I can't go back. Uh, I should have daring reconned him first. Yeah. Taking me reroll ones on his shots, but it's way, 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 way too late now. Uh, so he'll daring recon there. He'll reroll his own bloody shot, which will hit, which will wound at strength 12, which will go through, which will do four damage, which you will. Uh, you made a feel no pain. Wow. <laughs> no, not you. Now the big question is, do I go for fours re-rolling ones over here, or do I go for fives full re-rolls over there? Uh, I think I'm going to go for fours re-rolling ones into here. Uh, I'm going to fire with my uh, heavy stubber first. So heavy stubber into here. Um, miss, miss, miss. Couple of re-rolls. Nope. And then looking for a wound. Nope. That would have added up to a wound, but not on its own. Uh, we're then going to fire the plasma cannons. Uh, number of shots is going to be uh, four in total with blast. All right, here we go. Oh, not in the tray. So one auto wound, two miss, one reroll. No, I've not done well there at all. Uh, one auto wound, so uh, four up save. Ooh, nope, two damage because it's overcharged. Get the in injured guy. We're whittling them, boys. We are whittling them. Uh, overcharge, overheat for myself. I'm okay. Uh, so we've done the, the stubber and the side plasma. Uh, that's not a wound any there anymore. Uh, so let's go for the Laz Cannon. It's an auto wound. It's an auto save. And then we've got the big gun. All right, on the way. <sighs> He's rolled a one every time. And I don't have a CP reroll for it this time. So that will be... Uh, one plus uh, three plus one for blast when we started shooting. Now he's making up for it a little bit. He's making, come on, come on, lad. Nope, only two wounds. What's this on the blast? 
Uh, yeah, and you've made both of them. And uh, I believe he's fired his hunter killer already. Yes, sir. So that's a, that's a little unfortunate there. I was hoping for uh, a bit more. I mean, I've whittled the, the wraiths a bit and I've cleared away a few of the other bits, but uh, that is a bit of a shame there. So that, that, um, that damn uh, stratagem, the, uh, the lone off. I think if I had both of those going there, it would have been a foregone conclusion. Uh, now I've got a few, a few little bits here. So I've got two flamers from this unit over here going into the wraiths for six hits. And that will be three wounds on the wraiths. Uh, two will go through. And two will go through. <laughs> and then I've got two las guns and a las pistol. I stayed still, so that's two auto wounds. And rerolling ones because of daring recon. Nope. And then, nope. So two more wounds, make both okay. of those. And then I've got the next unit here which got two two hits and a reroll nope and then looking for two wounds no nothing i think that is all of my shooting and dare i say it i think that might be the turn so we killed a character we killed a, a destroyer and we were able to destroy uh two wraiths but the big thing is we have managed to uh, get both of our objectives. We've got the um, assassinate and we've got engage in all fronts. So we've maxed those out. This is a problem. You're going to re you may regrow regrow all the wraiths here. Can't. Why? Because you can heal one I can and heal, I, first one will give me D. So actually, I, I, it is possible. Three, I'll go back to five. No, yeah. I can only get one back. Okay, so you regrow. You'll be able to regrow one wraith here more than likely and then they're going to start sweeping over here which could be uh, a bit of a problem for me because i've got all the blast weapons so we might be a bit of a wet noodle fight where i don't kill you don't kill me but you've got more oc we'll have to see but then you've got the katan which could come sweeping in the katan can't get me this turn i know that much but they might be able to the moment's gonna be turn four turn five could be risky all right well there's only one thing to find out what the necro's gonna do they're gonna go to their turn three that's what they're gonna do Emerging from the blasted ruins, the smoke falling from their bodies. The wraiths have moved onto the guard home objective. I thought about overwatching, but then Big Nige started giving me the eyes and I realized that he was just going to come this way as well. So at which point I was like, you know what, I'll leave it. I think it's, not, it's weirdly not worth any points to me right now. So you go take it from me anyway. Uh, with big knives there charging me so i'm just like you know what just you've done a good job mate we have not you kept rolling a warning number of shots but apart from that you did a good job mate uh <laughs> the uh the sea vet decided to uh mop up those two garden units uh frustratingly uh, well actually i have deceived the deceiver because simon drew overwhelming force we both thought oh, the middle objective two shot guards and squads and they went oh there's no objective there anymore no overwhelming for those guards and they were nothing to you sir nothing uh so instead I think the Seaver's still just going to try and mop them up. But the uh, other Catan and the Doomstalker and the one of the other remaining destroyers have come on here. And they want to destroy the Chimera, which is currently scorching that objective. Uh, I will be popping smoke on that, which is another reason why I didn't want to use Overwatch. Um, because if that goes, that will deny some potential points for Simon. And it will put him in a bit of a tricky position on the old primary front. Um, it will put me in a bit of a tricky position on the old primary front. Because I'll only be really holding one at that point. But uh, we shall see what we shall see. Um, and then you sort of brought a few of the reinforcements over this side. To try and threaten my uh, artillery. And also stop these guards from sort of just wandering onto an objective and going, Hello, we are also some OC. Uh, so well, that's all of the movement and command for the Necrons. Uh, you've got Storm Hostile Objective, which you have achieved. And if you can destroy uh, this unit on an objective and you can destroy uh, this unit on an objective, then you'll get max overwhelming force as well. Or you'll get nearest damage. You might get four or five points, but you get a lot of points for it. Um, so Simon, where do you want to start with your shooting? Let's start with Nige. But is he going to gaze at me? Yes. Nice. One shot. Nice. Hits. Nice. Doesn't work. No. <laughs> uh, right, these guys are going to shoot into him. My little sentinel. Yes. Sentinel. So they have got the uh, 
da, 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 uh, the trans dimensional beam. thing. Yes. So fours. Beamy boys. Hit it on fours, but I am re rolling ones. My no god, ones. He's, he's actually hit. Uh, toughness. Uh, it's more than four, isn't it? It's more than four. So that's one at minus two. I have taken how many wounds? Three damage. Four. Suit you, sir. Right. Okay. You do point them, they're not very. Uh... I'll, tell you, I'll nick this one from you. Mm. And then staff the light. Re roll the one. Oh. Oh. Uh, tough die. I do need to take your toughness now at this point. What strength is it? Five. I'm more than strength five. Toughness five. Uh, one that's wound. One, minus two. I've gone through. One damage. He has chosen life. <laughs> Uh, right, deceiver. Deceiver, I, I will deceive you. Uh, he's going to go into the squad in front. Nice. Uh, to begin with, so cosmic insanity, six shots. Uh, anti character damage. Cosmic insanity. That's what it's called. Yeah, it's like a generic wipe. This Weapon. is a generic <laughs> You are showing your age there, man. You didn't get the uh, you didn't get the uh, Ebenezer. Other people did. I know, yeah, because they're obviously you know cooler than you. They, um, I never claimed to be cool. So let's see, uh, do they, does he get a power grid? No, he's a katan okay. and uh, twos. So that's one death wound and three at minus two. So that will be uh, the, uh, all three. So one one man left. One man, the flamer. Right, here we go. The key one. The biggie? Yes. Okay. Pop of smoke. Right. Mass one to hit. The uh Big Doomstalk man? Yep. Yeah. Big Doomstalk man. Six shots. Six shots plus one, seven, seven. shots. So hit on fives. We're rolling everything. We're rolling everything. Who the you bastard? About time. I knew you were gonna start turning this first. Oh my god! Ah, oh, he can't roll a four up now. He can't stop rolling them. A five up, hit with everything. Well, right. Well, that's, you know, well, 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 welcome to how it feels to be me playing you. <laughs> I I roll ones for my random shots all the time, uh, all the time. Right, wounding you on threes. Uh, I believe so. Yes. You need to. Oh, thank you. I'm giving you a free bloody six. Uh, four minus three. Okay. Which will become minus two because of um, uh, smoke giving me the, uh, the benefit of cover for a dramatic effect. I've passed it. It's not in the tray. I've passed it. I've passed it. <laughs> I didn't pass it. <laughs> Three damage? Yeah. I'm alive! <laughs> Often when I do that dramatic effect thing, it rolls one, one, one. And it's like, oh, yeah, there's no point. But the dramatic effect worked. Yes. Right, come on. Transcendent dude. Transcendent dude hit on threes. My smoke has helped. Oh, there's a two in there. There we go. Wounding you on fives. And toughness nine. Yeah. One. AP. Minus two. So minus one. I've made it. Yes. Praise be. You got the, the destroyer might turn it around. Come on, you rolled very well on the first one. I just, uh, it put, to be fair, what actually ended up happening was probably a sister goal. Well, oh, no, it should have been more than one going through. So, so on average, you would have got five yeah. shots and you should have hit with one, maybe two re-rolling. You should get three hits, you should get two wounds and I should stop one of them. That's bad math, Hammer, but you get the idea. We both had. You can't get sold. You can't be happy when you get high rolls and then be salty when I get high rolls. I think the the, the, <laughs> the, 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 the whole uh, high rolls is is pretty much weighted in your favour. I don't think there's. Uh... Uh, justice for Simon. Let's get that hashtag going. <laughs> right. Justice for Simon. Ch uh, he's... Oh, did, did he not do anything to the other guy? Uh, no. No. Okay. Right. He's going to try and shoot your little. No, actually, I want to leave you side clock, but he can just roll up and do death wounds, can't he? Yeah. Hey, sorry. He is terrible. Yeah. So he will, He will. if he gets within three inches of you, yeah. he will do D3 death no, I want to leave him there because it might be worth points later today. Yes, indeed. Right, charges. Okay. Big Nige first. Big Nige first. Now, if I had overwatched, I would have... I would have maybe... Ah, do you want to re-roll it? Yes. Not CP baiting? 
No, I need to. I want to kill him. I need okay. To. You're still going to hold the objective? Yes, but I've got the... Overwhelming force. Ah, failing a six-inch rollable charge. Right, let's see what the uh, these guys can do. Right, let him. There was a brief... As they say, as they say, Simon, and this is not going to make you feel any better, by the way. Um, hope is the first step on the road to disappointment. And you had hope with him. And now you've completed your journey to disappointment. <laughs> you know what? It actually doesn't surprise me that people think I'm a bit of a knobhead in the comments. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Right, I'm going to have to blame my last... This is the last uh, hurrah, because if this... I'm going to blame my last 2CP to give them a dead wound. Okay. Uh, I am actually re-rolling everything, because I now control more objectives in your... My deployment zone. So, fours. Here we go. Well, I could do with those when I do the wound rolls, to be honest. Yes. I don't think it's going to make that much difference. You're two damage each, right? Yeah. Yeah, it could, could do. Didn't convert so well, but you had an initial good burst, so it's probably not so bad. All right, yeah. now, now there's no re-rolls here, is there? No. Yeah. Okay, there's no dev wounds, and there's only, that's unlucky. It's it's like you get, it. it I said to Simon off camera, I don't, I don't know if I said this on the, video, on the video as well, your dice never roll normal. <laughs> they roll good or they roll shite. They never just roll consistently i think that's why your every game you we play it feels like a roller coaster because you go from having the uh the good to the bad um i passed my save not to uh, put salt in the wound um you still get you still do get five vp which is good um and uh there's still obviously plenty of opportunity to get overwhelming force with that now being badly injured and well this, no, that's now going to disappear what my thing? Oh yes, I will be putting myself down to only one prime though. At the beginning of my turn. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to be. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> no, no, it might. Okay, it's going to be interesting because I'm going to be low on low primaries. So that puts you in the bit of a weird position of. You're going to score that. Yeah. Your turn three, your turn four, and your turn five. Yeah. Unless I come over there and try and counterattack you. Yeah. Which is really difficult for me because. I have, yeah, it's... It, got one more charge still. Oh, one more charge, where do you want to go? Uh, the Deceiver. Oh, yes, of course. In both units. Yes, uh, you make it in. And I'm... Uh, do you want to roll your dice or... Well, you know what, actually, I'm going to make you roll your dice. Yeah, I would... I do think some people... Um, and I want to... I think some people uh, misjudge our relationship, Simon. Because... <laughs> uh, I think they think I'm really mean to you. I don't think I'm mean to you. No, just a bit of a knob. <laughs> well, that's... Uh, right. Simon just gives it to me off. That sounds wrong. Right, can I, I split? Do I can't, can I? Uh, you can split attacks, yeah. Oh, I'll do. You can definitely... You can't split shooting attacks, but I'm pretty certain you can split close combat attacks. I thought it was only models. It's all one attacks from one guy, isn't it? I don't think you can. It's only one weapon. I'm sure. I don't think you can. I'm sure because the lion goes in and goes like. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Would you? Uh, I genuinely don't know. Do I check? Should we check? We have double checked. Well, we should say we consulted with uh, the with the oracles, <laughs> uh, aka messenger, and uh, the resounding answers came back quickly. And uh, they have said you can. I thought you could. Yeah, people have definitely done it to me. So there you go. I don't. I don't melee. <laughs> I don't melee. When I do melee, it's Strack, and he always goes after one thing. He never splits. Um, so five into the two. Oh, no, twos. I'm imagining they're dead. Uh, Even on, I'm imagining it's big AP. I think it's that big. He's, he's tanky, this guy. He's not so punchy. It's, it's, uh, he's, de he's deceiving. Minus three, no, it's, it's uh, Minus three, strength, yeah. many. Eight, yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think he can't be that bad. Like, he's, it's not getting to the point where he's not killing a guardsman. Well, he could. He could give it a go. Ooh, oh, fuck. Why did I say it? Why did I say it out loud? Right, Simon, you... 
I'm trying not to, uh, you know, try, try, I'm trying to make this game, you know, interesting for the viewer and, and, and make it so, I'm, I'm trying to make your unit sound cool. I'm trying to big, I'm trying to be a hype man, Simon. And your bloody endless god machine can't kill a bloody guardsman. At this point, I don't think you can blame me. <laughs> right, I'm going to, I'm going to fist you. It's a hit. And I don't mean in real life. It's not a wound. I tried to catch it on you. There you go. You thinking? <laughs> Just thinking. So is that a thinkful brain or a despairing brain? No, that's a, that's a two turns where it could have, uh, if they'd have gone slightly differently, it'd have been a very different game, I think. We'll have an after action report. Yeah. I think it'd be good to do one after this. Talk about the pivotal moments and what you, because obviously it's taught in practice what, you, what units you thought worked and what didn't work. Um, I, I just want to remind you I do have a Void Dragon you mm -hmm. are welcome to borrow it it makes that much difference can't one on one it's not gonna yeah <laughs> I was gonna take him off he's alive he's alive okay um, and a Necron turn let's put let's put the the means aside for a moment I'm being serious I'm putting means to one side you got one objective but didn't get the, the other one which yeah. is pivotal here uh, and you did not stop me from getting this because um, I was able to, uh, uh, for once, the dramatic roles uh, were actually dramatic. Um, that is big, but in terms of how it's going to work with primary going forward now, it's going to be interesting. I'm only going to get my turn four, my turn five. I'm only going to get five primary. And that could be big. So uh, we shall see how it goes uh, with guard turn Four. We're entering into the twilight turns of this game. Imperial Guard, turn four. Command of movement has been completed. Command phase, we drew no prisoners and deployed teleporter Homer. These guards have been piled out of their, of their loyal, trusty steed and they have deployed teleporter Homer there. They've also done a good job of screening out this area from any Catans that fancy teleporting around. The cheeky boys. Uh, we've kept this uh, uh, Chimera here because he's doing a similar job down here and we've got the infantry out from there to create Operation Human Shield for when the Deceiver decides to come over here because he won't do a lot of damage but he could uh, potentially tie up a couple of tanks and we don't want him to do that considering he's a monster he wouldn't be able to uh, get through that gap um, and then we have stayed in combat over here I thought about falling back but I, it would have the reason I didn't is uh, desperate breakout, number one. Number two, if I fall, I, I originally had loads of, I'd sort of plan my tanks over here. But the problem is that uh, if the moment I fall back, if I survive, they will then move around here and I won't be able to see them. So it's better for me to stay here. Uh, it, it just stops those, it sort of keeps those rays there, which is good. Um, I moved the tanks back here because I want to, for no prisoners, I want to have a couple of targets over here between the Doomstalker and the uh, Destroyer, which I can see with uh, these two tanks here. Over here, I, uh, I stay still with everything because, again, I've got a couple of targets for no prisoners over here. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's the plan. Let's see if we can make it happen. So, first thing before I forget, I'm going to put uh, reroll ones uh oh and I, I put take aim over here and uh that was the only oh take aim over here and i went for uh i don't really have another that thing can have take cover because this is the only thing i can do with my orders and uh, now dang we can over here i've got a choice do i go for the doom stalker or do i go for the uh the destroyer now i'm actually going to go for the destroyer in this case because even though it's very, 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 very likely to die, um, it's the easiest target for no prisoners. So that's why it's getting it's getting hit. Uh, so we will uh, we'll daring recon it, and then we're going to shoot it with our with our last cannon from this chap. Oh, actually, no, that's a silly idea, because we want these two to go after the Doomstalker, don't we? Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll see if we can chip him off with our with our little bit. So we'll go for this Chimera first. Uh, we've got two heavy bolters on that chimera, uh, hitting on uh, hitting on uh, fours, re-rolling. Now I didn't get any hits, but I did get three ones, so I get three chances to redeem myself. Uh, no, I, I I got no hits off nine dice. Um, this franchise is turning around, Simon. This is where it begins. Uh, now I'm going to fire uh, the storm bolter. Got a hit. I'm not going to wound, and I'm going to fire the lads. Going to raise. 
going to get some different dies because I feel like those ones uh, are bad. There you go, that's a bit better. Didn't make much of a difference though, just meant that I rolled normally. Top of a disc, not that. Okay, so the fir first Chimera, ineffective. Let's fire the next Chimera, see if we can do a little bit better. So we're going to go for uh, the uh, the multi-laser first and we're shooting everything from that one. Uh, that, sorry. I'm shooting at the destroyer. Yeah. So we've got two hits. I got a wound. I don't think you took a seven on a destroyer. No, it's a five. I think it is. Okay, well, I've got. I, I roll a four. Certainly not seven anyway. It has gone through. He's yeah. taken one wound. Okay. Uh, how many wounds do you have left? I think uh, it's a six, two, uh, three wounds. Okay. So we've got the heavy bolter next. Now I have stayed still with this one. That's good. I got one lethal hit, one sustained hit. So let's see if we can get another wound hit. We nope. So this is uh, one wound, uh, and you won't be getting cover from this. That's two damage. Dead. So that's uh, dead. Yeah, it's minus one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah minus one. Okay, so that's so, we, so first target, first target eliminated. Uh, this is good because now it will uh, allow us to put our las cannon into the doom stalker. Uh, so we're going to go for the last cannon to Doomstalker. Ooh, ooh. No, you're not. Ooh, you're going to make me uh, yeah. bad to hit. Okay, so I'm not hitting the Doomstalker, so I'll shoot the Catan. Okay. It's not on the tray. It's not, 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 not a thing. But it has got a Hunter Killer Missile. Hasn't fired it yet. That's a hit, and it stays still. That's an auto wound. It's gone through. Now, you will halve the damage, won't you? Yeah. And have a fight for no pain. Yeah. So that's three damage. And you save one of them. So, uh, 10 wounds left, I think. Yep. Okay. It's pretty spicy. Can't, can't deny it. Um, now, there's a, now, in terms of other shooting, uh, really, they only... Uh, I might as well do these two. Uh, I can't shoot the geezer face, the Doomstalker, so I might as well go for the Catan. I've got nothing else to shoot. So we'll go for the Exterminator first. He's going to be hit on threes. He has hit once. He was wounding you on a five re-rollable. Got a five anyway. On the tray, you're okay. Heavy bolter. Two hits, heavy bolter, no wounds. And then we've got the battle cannon from the, um, oh, we've got the stubber from the, um, the exterminator. Uh, all hit, but I moved. No wounds. Uh, multi melters won't be in range and uh, I haven't fired something to kill it yet. He's not actually fired a shot yet. Okay. So yeah, he can go. He missed anyway. He's fired it now. Um, <laughs> tank commander going into the Catan. Uh, let's give it a go. And that'll be seven shots. Hitting on fours. It's not great. It's not ideal, as they say. Uh, one whole wound. You have saved it. And then we've got a laser cannon, which has not hit. And then we've got our heavy bolters. This will be the last shooting from him. One sustained hit, so I'll leave one of those misses in there. No wounds, so just plinking damage off the katan, which will probably just regrow. And they are tough. I didn't expect to do much after you uh, decided that I wasn't going to shoot the Doomstalker. Uh, now we're going to come over to some other shooting. Uh, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go for this chippy chappy over here. And he's going to put everything he's got into the destroyer. Okay. He's going to do it. Now, he'll be hitting on a five, rolling ones. Number of shots with his main gun. He, he hasn't rolled a one. I don't mean to alarm you. He <laughs> hasn't rolled a one. Uh, he, in fact, has rolled a uh, four, which will result in a total of seven shots. He's got two auto wounds and a regular hit. All right. And the regular hit, I don't mean to alarm you, something that has become a wound. Now, you will get cover here, but that will splat him. Three yeah. damage. Yeah. Okay, all the rest of my, all the rest of my shots will, uh, will go into as well, but uh, they don't need to be rolled, except for I would have overcharged my plasma. So, I'm okay. okay I'm trying to get better at my hazardous, because I always end up having to do them off camera and stuff. Um, last cannon into uh, only viable, viable target, which is Nige. Rerolling ones because of Daring Recon. No. Uh, and then we've got uh, 
this situation over here. Uh, I will shoot with this first because he can only see to that base directly. Uh, oh no, no, he can see to that one as well, but then he could go... No, we'll shoot him first because then they can pretty much... Oh, ooh. It, I'd rather Basilisk went first, frankly. I think that's the, the right call because the flamers will be able to see no matter what. So yeah, Basilisk. Uh, I wrote, used the wrong colour die, so it punished me. So just five shots. Hitting on uh, five, uh, hitting on threes because of direct fire. Uh, no re-rolls there. Two direct wounds. Uh, that will kill one base. Heavy bolter. Uh, it's got two hits. Uh, two wounds. AP minus one. Uh, that'll be gone. And then uh, it'll be th this uh, squad now. Now, I think these three guys won't be able to see you. But the other ones will be able to see you, no problem. So we'll have a couple of flamers. Six shots that... One of the flamers can't see. You don't think so? Is that not? All right, yeah. Well, yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 I don't think you can forget about her anyway, to be honest. I can always... I can redo no, 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 it. No, no, I don't mind. Cool. No, no, it's cool. No, no, it's right. I was thinking that the uh, USA machine... No, that's cool. Okay. I genuinely don't mind either way, Sai. No, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, four wounds. Uh, no AP on, on him. Uh, live on a wound. Yeah. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five lads guns. One, two, three, four, five. One auto wound for the hits. I keep asking these cat chans to shoot and they're like, boss, we don't do shooting. <laughs> what are you on about? Uh, three wounds. Uh, no AP, you will get the benefit of cover. Yeah, that will get him though. And that is... So I've got my manticore left. I will shoot the manticore at the other at the Catan. Because there's no point in shooting over here. Because I won't get enough over here. But if I can do some damage to the Catan, it might it might stay damaged, which would be nice. Um Yes. Okay, so uh Manticore into Catan. Five shots. Hitting on fours, two auto wounds, no. So two auto wounds, one goes through, becomes two damage, stop one. Which you still, if you roll a, a high on your D3, you'll still get all of that back. And I believe that is uh, my turn. By the way, I did desperate, this guy fell his back shot test, but he passed his desperate escape attempt out here. Uh, they moved and advanced. I believe that's it, sir. Yeah. So uh, that is guard turn four. Uh, fast yet furious. <laughs> we'll go over to Necron turn four, the penultimate turn for the soulless walking horrors. And uh, bear in mind that they did go second. So there is a chance there could be a, a last minute rush on the points. But we'll sit. Simon shaking his head. Have you preemptively drawn? Have you looked at your secondaries again? That's my turn. <laughs> Not yet. It's really I'm joking. <laughs> what did you get? Go on, give, give the viewers a sneak preview. Secure No Man's Land. You've done it. It's only two, though. I need... I think you get plus one for being tactical, but maybe not. Uh, no, two. We'll see. The app will tell us. Trust in the machine spirit. Um, okay. Well, Simon, we shall see if uh, the, the star gods smile upon you going into your turn four. Hold your horses, honey. I got vouchers for the Pringles. It's not Necron turn. We've got to do a guard combat phase. Just because I haven't charged anyone doesn't mean there's some combat going on. So, Simon, would you like to uh, strike me over here? Yes. Let's see what we can do. You know, there used to be a guard uh, regiment trade or something that let you heal wounds up each turn as a guard. It's like jury rig repairs or something. It's really cool. It would have been really good on something like a Rogal Dawn and they got rid of the Rogal Dawn. It made me sad. A lot of hits. Have you gone for dev wounds again? No, I've not got the CP. I've not got the CP. I didn't spend any CP that turn, so I should be on a on one or two going into. No, now I get some dev wounds, and that's it. Two, two. Wraiths really, I, I they terrify me, but every t but I always forget they're just not anti vehicle. They're not anti vehicle, it's lightest. Uh, imagine one's gone through there. Two damage. Yeah. Um. Okay, and I will uh, hit you back. Uh, Lima says to have a surprising six attacks. Uh, three hits. 
Uh, probably all wound. Um, strength seven of the Russ, at least. One goes through, but does it though? No. Uh, no, so you're fine. Uh, okay, so that is that is the, uh, the the fight phase. Now we'll go into the net contest. We've stayed in combat with L Tank. He's tanking. He's L Tank. Big Nige is coming in to try and finish him off. The Deceiver has wandered forward deceptively and is looking to clear the guardsmen and then start tagging the tanks. And over here, the Catan pink flamey dude he's just he's just sick of being shot at the battle cannons auto cannons multi everything he's like no, i'm not having that <laughs> and he's coming in he's going to sort it out doomstalker is like i've re it's resumed his favorite place and is now um is now uh, going to start shooting me interestingly will the doomstalker no longer be in the power grid yeah, it's always in the power grid. You're always in power grid. That would have been hilarious. I like go and like chuck a Molotov onto the onto the power grid. It's like run out, boys. Um, that's good. That's good to know. Uh, and then over here, now you have uh, played defensively here because you are trying to burn the objective. Yeah. Mm. But we have re we have realised something, haven't we? Yep. <laughs> this big knife failing this charge over here was huge because. The net console, we've double checked this. These guys don't have pistols, no, which means that did. the other guys did, which means these wraiths can't uh, burn this objective whilst they're in combat with the Russ. Uh, and if Big Knives had made, this, made the charge in the Necron turn three, you would have destroyed that. And then in your turn four, you could have started burning. But you can't, if you start burning in your turn five, you don't get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is grim. So that that's, failing a six rollable charge has has really impacted the game. What what was just maybe a dead Russ has become a thing. <laughs> it's become a thing. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll get into a little bit more on the after action report. But yeah, that's, I think everything that's happened in the centre was wildly more impactful than I thought it was at first, at first glance. Um, but Simon, it's not over yet. You've got a few more dice to roll. Where are you going? Where are you starting? I'll start with him. Uh, the Doomstalker into the damaged... Damage came Now there's no, uh, so I haven't seen the dice roll. So there's no uh, points at stake here, yeah. is there? No. So I won't pop, pop smoke. Right, that's wise. Why, what did you get? Three. Two, so three shots. Uh, I quite like, um, yeah, four re-rolls. That's cock dice there. Two hits. Uh, three to wound, I imagine. Yeah. Uh, AP big. Minus three. So I'm only getting a six up save now because there's no smoke. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't actually have any words. <laughs> uh, Moving swiftly on! If, by the way, if, if this, uh, if anyone finds this footage and I've disappeared, um, <laughs> Simon has, has buried me underneath the table. Um, that is, I think, just a... Uh, <laughs> That sums it up, I believe. Go on, then, Sai. You've got, still got to send it down. It's not, it's not over. Let's keep the hype going. Come on. Get the energy into the dice. We can do uh, this. I always say the energy transfers into the dice. Uh, right, may as well do it with the other the Catan. The Catan. Here we are. Four hit. Uh, okay. Fives. That's two wounds. Two at minus two. I've saved one. Damage. Three. Just D3, not D3 for something? No, just D3. Okay, he's down to two wounds. You know, the first round of Adepticon, I'm going to get filled in. I'm I not gonna, do. I'm not going to make a save. I'm not going to. I'm not going to make a save. It happens. I have good luck against you, and then I go into the first round of a tournament, and I just get power drived. Uh, they're not moving because my luck is just the opposite. Uh, he's going to. Oh, uh, he's going to try and shoot those guys. Clear the guardsmen. Are you yeah. go, are you going to? Cosmic Insanity me? Yes, I am. I think, just for the name of that attack, the Deceiver has become my favourite Catan. In fact, it's become <laughs> my favourite Necron model. Also, he's cool in, a, in a Dawn of War. Uh, and three twos. Yeah. So, three. <laughs> Still drops a couple, yeah. Uh, AP? Minus two. So. Uh, that goes straight through, because you're in the cover, so I'm not getting the cover. So, uh, I'll keep my human shield up. 
There we go. Uh, and because I don't think it's going to make any much difference. Actually, no, I'm not going to bother because I might. You might score, bring it down in the uh, last turn. It might. You haven't had to bring it down yet. Oof. Well, I'll not bring it down. I've not had no prisoners. <sighs> Which are great with all the little that units. Is. Well, yeah. I say you're great. If I keep rolling the sixes on saves, it's not <laughs> ideal. But yeah. Um, yeah, so charge. He's in. He's he's in. He's only gone and done it. Uh, and the uh, the deceiver into the squad. Deceiver here. Yeah. Into the squad. Six. He's made it. Where was that before, Nigel? Uh, and see, that's him taking the piss out of Nigel right there. He's like, oh, does he do six? Oh, oh, that's a six. Uh, and him into the because katana. I I still believe in like the old. <laughs> what, ten. You got a ten. Yeah. Into this one. Yeah. Or do you want to go both? Uh, no, just the. Okay. I guess you wouldn't have known. No, no, I wouldn't have yeah. I'm trying to leave some targets that are easy. For potential points that could come up, yeah. yeah. Right, let's do that. Because in an event, even when you're losing, you want to keep going because every point you get can help with tiebreak and your final placing. Right, let's see. Uh, right, if he doesn't kill him, I am just going to pack up and go home. Just if he doesn't kill him, well, yeah, we don't have to do round five. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to. Let's drop one. You feel like there's been a certain energy in this battle report today, so. <laughs> Threes. Uh, so one dev wound and four at minus four. Okay, so they all go through. Oh, sorry, minus four. Sorry, I am. Uh, I am. Yeah, yeah, six up. Six up, yeah. Naturally, I have rolled two of them. This isn't gonna. I told you, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get absolutely roasted. Thirteen. Uh, Nineteen. It's yeah, he's gone. Um. Does he explode? Probably. No. See, I don't get, I don't always get sixes, but when I do, it's on my armor saves. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right, the deceiver. I think I've said the story before on, uh, on, on video. It was actually an old battle report. You can probably dig it out. Um, if someone goes into the old Morning Glory archives, uh, me playing my brother, and he had his Tau, um, the dreaded Tau, and I had uh, Black Templars. And to, to win the game, my brother just needed to uh, kill a uh, Black Templar chaplain. Just three wounds. Yeah. And he hit me with uh, missile pods, which at the time were damaged too. Yeah. And he did uh, four, five, or six wounds on my uh, basic chaplain. And I just had a four plus invulnerable save. And um, I passed every single one. <laughs> and I, sh I, sh I shouldn't have done. I shouldn't have got even close to it. And... Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's just one of those things where it's just it's, my brother still reminds me about it to this day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, twos and twos. Uh, twos and twos over here. Yeah. Of course, drop two. That's what you say. It's the it's the it's the bullshit luck, isn't it? Uh, so five dead. I should get a uh, I should get a t-shirt with that on. <laughs> uh, and lastly, Operation Human Sh Operation Human Shield. Get behind the Kriegers has been a success. I want to Ooh. kill them, to be honest. Oh, no. Right, come on, this guy better die now. Oh, the Chimera. Uh, but I've got one six, one sustained hits. Okay, so Chimera, Transcendent. Chimera's only got two wins left. Four. Tough as four, is it? Yeah, I'm tough as nine. Yes, yeah. four. Ooh. Oh, Christ. Three. Three at minus three. Okay. Now, he's done it once. He's done it before. <laughs> What's the damage on this? D6. Okay. He's not done it again. He's very, very dead. He hasn't exploded. And there are... 10 inside. So that's the first five who are okay. And the second five, one guy has unfortunately not made it. Um, which will be this chap. And then we'll take these ones. Say so I don't normally use my Mordians as a mechanized force, but the, uh, they've done all right today. Let's bring one over. I'm just going to pop them out the back for cinematic purposes. I think they would disembark from the back. They'd be like, disembark, dismount. There we go. Oh, there we go. They're like, contact front, contact front, dismount. I'm trying to get into a bit of bit of bit of milsim. <laughs> there we go. Five, first fire team left, second fire team right. All that kind of cool stuff. I think you all... I can't remember. I was in Cadets for seven years. 
And uh, I feel like when, if there's two teams inside of a, two sec, there's a section inside the back of a, tra- of a transport of some kind, like a, we used to do it in like a Bedford, you would have, what, fire, you'd have your two fire teams, one would go to the left and one would go to the right. I feel that's what happened, but I can't remember. I think it would depend on where the contact came from. If you're in the military or no, let us know down in the comment section. Do you all get out one side or the side, or does it depend on where the contact comes from? Um, okay, Sam, is that everything? That's it. Done. That's it. You just look at me with a bewildered look on your face. <laughs> all right. Let us, uh, let's see what the next, so did you score, what points did you score? I scored, secured, secure no man's, and I got overwhelming force. Nice. Uh, all right, so uh, not bad on the old points. We'll see uh, what you can do, uh, what I can do, going into the guard turn five, the last turn of the game. Summary turn five for the guard. The last turn that we can play in his name. As a tradition, all the guard tanks came over here and the wraiths went, you can't shoot us. And this one tank commander was like, I can still shoot you. And he did no damage. Because we did, did a couple. Yeah, <laughs> didn't do any meaningful damage. No. I then blatted everything I could into the deceiver, who uh, is deceptively tough. You weren't lying. Um, over here, the guardsman got inside the chimera, which drove over to here, and the sentinel uh, came here. So I like, I like to think like a little. You know, they burned the objective. They saw the alpha tar- alpha priority target, uh, alpha asset, and they were like, "Exfil, exfil!" They sort of retreated back this way. Nice. Uh, and then we uh, we drew uh, air denial for one of our objectives. So uh, we moved these uh, scraplets back into the middle, which got us air denial, which is nice. Uh, and the real story, though, um, and if you salt in the wound, I don't think is a is a is a good enough phrase. Um, something really horrific, like smearing feces into the vistula uh, <laughs> over here. Um, I shot the crap out of the Necron Immortals with, with the artillery. I daring recon them, which allowed me to start hammering them with the artillery. Even with their stealth, uh, I was doing okay on the number of shots and everything. And then we got, I need a 9 charge on the Sentinel, which I got. I need, exactly, I need a 5 charge with the uh, Catachans after they'd flamed some, which they got. And I actually really went in combat. I cut down uh, three of the Immortals in combat, which was all, which was... Basically, the perfect amount to flip that objective, which means the Necrons can't burn it because they're not controlling it anymore. It's just like, it's just like aeons of academy training wasted. Just ugh. when it rains, it pours. A single solitary uh, drop of oil leaks from the Ferons where his eyes should be and drip down his cheek. Um, or all of the enough, enough salt water to create a new ocean has <laughs> flowed from uh, <laughs> from Simon's. But yeah, no, that was, that was, we even had a little joke of camera, we're like, oh, need nice charge? Oh, got it. Um, nice. Last turn, last turn, nice charge? Always get it. Um, I think last time we did the Grey Knights, I charged like, so you do it every game we play. Every game. It's absolutely pointless, you may as well. It's <laughs> like, oh, last turn, Timmy. Should you even roll the dice? There's no point, it just comes in. I realised I could have tank shot you with a Sentinel as well. I didn't, but I could have done. Um, was actually just thinking about oh, Sentinel with Sentinel Chainsaw is, is strength six. That's six attacks. Plus, I'd be stronger than you. That'd be eight. Mm. I, I'm not going to do it just purely for academic purposes. How many and what, what difference would that have made to the um, to that over there? I would have only got two, so I would have I would have killed two more immortals, which very well may have um, affected the combat in terms of what who could have struck and who couldn't. So it probably swings and roundabouts overall because the Catachans managed to uh, kill a couple. So yeah, it's, I, don't, I don't think it makes a big difference overall. Uh, but it's just interesting to see how much damage a Sentinel of the Chainsaw can do. Uh, now, at the end of my turn there, I was able to get area uh, denial, which is very, very good. Um, and uh, I believe I got my other uh, secondary objective as, uh, as well. So we were able to get a couple of... Uh, couple of cheeky points there but it's uh it's not over yet i think with the i think with the necrons not burning this and not burning this that could swing it uh into the guard favor so 
I'm trying to get a story, Simon. Uh, but we'll we'll see. It'll be interesting what the final score is because the Necrons will get a chance to, if not burn second, uh, burn primary, they'll still get a chance to score some primary. Um, okay, end of uh, guard turn five. Let's go in for a summary. Necron turn five. Almost the end of Necron turn five. Almost the end of the game. We are coming back at the very last moment. Uh, to cover what's happened so far, uh, the Necrons over here regrew a crap load of them. Uh, and then uh, they have that objective. So they're getting five points prime at the end there. Yeah. Uh, the Wraiths uh, conga lined and uh, they've held this objective for five points, getting you max primary. And then they uh, they zap the two Guardsmen, uh, the three Guardsmen that were in the middle there. So that got you some no prisoner points because that was one of your uh, yeah. your secondaries. Speaking of no prisoners, uh, the 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 big penis canoptic doomstalker overkilled the cyclops, which I had forgotten was in the corner. <laughs> Would have been a great target for deploy teleporter homers. Um, you know, and then in, in a turn four, I think it was. And then we've uh, brought the uh, two katans over here uh, who have looked at this thing meanly and taken five wounds off it in total, and then they've both charged in. That's a katan threesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh that's uh that's a devil's threesome right there um kids don't don't google that um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, oh and then over here you uh you healed a wound so you've got one wound uh no, like you're down one wound, one wound uh, and then i nicked one of your dice because uh you have put me down for one wound over here but they failed your charge uh, by the way, little side note, I didn't get both secondaries in my final turn. One of them was Overwhelming Force, which I didn't quite manage to get. Uh, but I did uh, did get one of them. Okay, but it's not my turn now. It's the <laughs> Necron turn. Uh, and you got Investigate Signals, which you just didn't do. Yeah. Uh, and then the, uh, what was the last objective you had? Uh, no prisoners. No prisoners, so I've maxed that. Which you've maxed already. Because you, uh, you've you got those uh, those two over there. I'm and sure. the Cyclops. And the Cyclops, yes. And we're going to, well, well, maybe. If I don't, I will have a So I've popped smoke, which doesn't help in combat, yeah. but I'm going to spend my final two CP. Yeah. And I'm going to have armored might. Yeah. Minus one damage. Okay. I believe. <laughs> Here we go. Nightbringer. Here we go. They've all gone through. Well, they've all hit. Well, they've all hit. I'm just taking this They've all hit. And um, toughness 11. Right, well, that's two. Uh, two dev. Three more saves. Okay, well, you have to roll so many devastating wounds you get, which uh, now completely invalidate. Oh, no, 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 I want, you to, uh, I want you to do your thing, and we're going to have a small... What if I roll three sixes? What's your AP? At minus four. If what if I roll three sixes? That'll really upset you. Well, yes, it's not going to make that much. It's, uh, what, well, I would not be surprised. I've got one, so it's four D... So you have to do separately, because two of them are dev wounds, which don't, uh, I don't reduce the damage against. Right, so the first one, six, down to five. Okay. Minus um, five, five. And then. minus eight, minus uh, twelve. So I'm on minus twelve wounds, um, but it's not over, Simon. <laughs> Firstly, I don't explode. Yes. Secondly, I don't have a death befitting an officer. I don't get to shoot you when I die. Oh, is that a thing? Yeah, it's a thing. It's the tank commander ability. He's not. He bought his commission. He's not even a real officer. Ah, oh, there you go. He's gone as he's dead. He's dead, Jim. They're all gone. And on, and you can there you go. Whee, the deceiver's gonna go in there. Good game, Simon. Well, I enjoyed that. That was a. Did, did you? Yeah, I was. <laughs> you always make it seem like it's like pulling teeth. It is when he gets to your bullshit call. <laughs> it's just like it's 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 just like it's like the epic every game we play, right? And if I win the lottery, I'm going to get someone to go back and watch every single battle report because what they will see is it'll go right turn two. Hmm, Simon, apart from like you know the the first, going all right here. Turn three, no, there comes the bullshit. Turn five makes a nine inch charge to screw me over. Turn five, Simon's rolls start doing really well, but it's not <laughs> enough to turn the franchise around. Um, because I always feel really worried. I'm always, I'm always like, uh, I'm worried that you don't enjoy the games. But uh, I think it's just your <laughs> in, in the heat of the moment, as it were. No, 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 no. I always enjoy them. Good. I'm always just trying to find a way through the miasma of bullshit. <laughs> I should, I should. That's uh, a stratagem. <laughs> One CP. That's bullshit. There you go. There you go. Um. So we'll we'll tot up the final score. 
and we'll be back. Uh, we'll be back with that in just a moment. So we've totted up the points. We've double, triple checked them. And the final score is 68 to the Necrons. So close to the perfect score. And uh, 94 points to the guard, which I have to say, I am very, very surprised. At. I saw this matchup. I saw how durable Simon's arm was. I, I saw that I only had like four Lieben Russes. I didn't even have like three Russes and a Dawn. And I thought that was going to be tricky, but the, the guard have managed to do it. So you know what? You know, Simon, you know the line. Victory <laughs> is assured. That was a tough game. It might not have seemed like it, but that was very much a game of having to not get sucked in to... Go on then, jump on. Commissar Carlo here to oversee the, uh, the proceedings. That was a game of not getting sucked in to trying to take the Necrons head on. Be where the Necrons weren't. That was my... My plan, but uh, Sam, what what what's a uh, brief final thoughts now? And then we'll do a we'll do a cheeky after action report in a moment. What do you <laughs> what is your final initial thoughts in the game uh, list and all that kind of stuff? I actually quite like the list. I um, it's difficult really because it's like do I, I props need some more OC and the chaff gets blown away quite easily. Mm. Um, I think that's the that that's the the minor. The, the issue with this list is it needs a little bit more OC. I've not really got any too much that's durable that can sit on an objective. You say that, it should be the wraiths. Yeah, but they're a lot... Of, yeah, I mean, you can do it with wraiths, but then that's a lot of points you're investing into. Uh, wraiths you want sitting, scrapping out in the centre somewhere. Yeah. And tying stuff up. I mean, that's... Silver tide, maybe. It doesn't work anymore. Why not? Just, that's my preferred place, because they, they haven't got the... The resurrection. You can't what what they got rid of the resurrection? Well, it's kind of close as good as Cause it used to be D three plus three. three. And then you could do it in the stratagem and yeah, no, it's nowhere near. It's all gone. Yeah, it's not all gone, but it's not you know, it's an option but it's not competitive. Yeah. Um, um but yeah, I mean everything did kind of have going down to one Doomstalk is quite good, I think having Two, you sit once you put them both out in the open, and a shooty arm is just going to blow one away. You can only protect one with your lone op. Yeah, so that's that's quite nice having that kind of sat there in the backfield, not being able to be targeted if I don't want it. Yeah, um, made a mistake with the race there. I think I perhaps <sighs> do you think you may have uh tunnel visioned onto the indirect, possibly, yeah, because it didn't do that, it didn't do. All that much. Yeah, that that was kind. Of, I think that was maybe a mistake. Um, I think in hindsight, what I should have done would have been to just drop a transcendent in front of it and let the transcendent uh, deal with it. That does. Yeah, that that definitely uh, does a lot more. And I think even or works a lot, a lot very efficiently. Yeah, the, the transcendent. A, I could have got it there. Even if I got it in turn one, it would have been turn two. It would have tanked the damage better. And yeah, would have actually been able to kill them. Yeah. So maybe it was a bad choice of trying to do that with the Wraiths. But you know that now, which yeah, is yeah, the important yeah. so thing. That, that's, uh, I mean, they were unlucky to get blown up, but even if they hadn't got blown up, actually, they'd have just been sat there, not killing And I could still shoot out. Yeah, so... What do you... Um, is this your first time running three Catans? Yes. Uh, no. I, 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 one of the practice game or something? Yeah, or? I did one at the club. How, did you, how do you feel about them? I'm glad I'm not playing against them. <laughs> you might do. Well, I might do, yeah. But you might that'll, do. That'll, that'll teach me. Yeah. Um, I really like the Deceiver. I, you know, yeah. I, I think that little switcheroo that you can pull at the beginning. I mean, I, it's not going to. Anyone who's a top tier player is not going to be. I always forget about my redeploy with the Lord Soul, you know. Yeah. I bet it's really good, and I bet I could really. Like, imagine if you and I'd seen like this stuff was over here, and I would have been like, ah, oh, redeploy. Oh, I'll just spread out. Yeah. And imagine if you, know, if you didn't have it, you know, the, if one side has it, one side doesn't. If they, if someone does something like that to you with all the race, yeah. just get out of dodge. Yeah. Yeah, it's really powerful. So I, I really like that. I, you know, I think top good good players will know that they'll play around it. But I think you know, in a you know, if you're middle table, I think that's quite a nice trick, and it make make like you said, it gives people choices. Mm. Um, do, do you deploy the or, dile the dilemma? Yeah. Do you yeah. want to or do you not? And that kind of gives me that choice. Um, needs a bit more shooting. 
Maybe. Yes, it is, these these maps are a little bit more open than I think we both yeah, if thought. Yeah, if it was a WTC map, I think it would have. Uh, oh yeah, you would have smashed me. But then, I, but to be I fair, have smashed I you, wouldn't man. have brought a list like this to WTC. I, yeah. You can't run Met Garden WTC. It's just not a thing. Yeah. Um, for my for my part, speaking of Met Garden, and I will get into this a little bit more because we'll do a as is becoming tradition a sort of 15, 20 minute after action report after this battle report. So if you've enjoyed this. Uh, but if you want to hear our sort of behind the scenes thoughts, uh, keep an eye out for that. That one will be going out. Uh, should we go out the day after this one? Uh, my my general thoughts uh, with the Met Guard is it, it continues to surprise me how durable it is. I'm sure if I go against Space Marines and Iron Storm, I'm, I'm I, you know, if I drive out there, I'm going to lose Chimera's left, right and centre. But I just wouldn't drive out there. I'd be, just be a bit, you know. I you still have to kill it off. I mean, it's, you still have to. It's the it's the beauty of killing a chimera and the guys getting out onto an objective, and often people don't have enough to then kill the guys. I think it's. Um, I am. I really really like Met Guard. People have been asking me in the stream and stuff. You know, do, less meme Mordian, more meta Mordian. Uh, and if I was to be totally honest, I think that if I wanted to run, uh, if I wanted to scratch both itches and wanted to go for a theme. Uh, that was also powerful. I think Met Guard is really being slept on at the moment. Um, I know that uh, I've always had good success with it. And I also, well, in 10th edition, I should say. And I also, there's another, um, there's a member of the community that I put it on to uh, Nick or Star Captain 007, as he's, the name's Captain, Star Captain. Uh, down, down in the, uh, down in the, he'll be down, down in the chat. Uh, he switched over to Met Guard at the beginning of 10th. Um, and he has been having phenomenal success with it. And the first three tournaments he's been to, he's gone undefeated with Met Guard. And that was an element game. So it's not a, That's but these are not light events that he's going to. And it's his first time going competitive. So he's doing very, very well with it. Um, so I, so I'm starting to move towards it because I do like the play style. Um, and uh, I've had, I've seen other people do well with it. And Simon, you've got Met Guard. Yeah. Bring it to the Atagon. I'm not bringing it to. Bring it to the Atagon. I'm not logging it around Heathrow Airport. <laughs> it's... Damn you, I say. The Emperor demands sacrifice. Your Listen, arms I, can be sacrificed. I've just got, all the, got pretty much all the rules packed down for this. I'm not going to... Uh... This is 10th edition. The moment you get your arms sorted out, it changes. I know. I know. But I'm... <laughs> I, no, the... In your case, it fundamentally changes to an entire different faction. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, no, play this and then I think it's going to either go to the Grey Knights... Or, uh, Mech, Mech guard, guard, Mech Guard, well, Mech not, Guard, not, Mech not Guard, Decepticon, Mech no. Guard. Okay, I'll, I'll let you off on a Decepticon if you promise me that we're going to go to a tournament yeah. and we're both going to run Mech Guard. Right, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Viewers, hold them, <laughs> hold them to I'll, it. I'll get my regular doors painted. Yes, there we go. And on that note... Hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, battle report. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. I know it's a little cringe asking for likes, but it really does make a big, big difference. It boosts the video in the YouTube algorithm. I don't know how it works. YouTube is a mysterious beast, but all I know is that it, it feasts off likes like no tomorrow. So if you do like the video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more battle reports like this, uh, we do like to go for a bit of a laid back format uh, here and uh, we try to make sure we show everything warts and all so you guys get an idea of, of the game um, salt and all maybe I should say um, And uh, but if you do like this kind of content and you want to see more of it then don't forget to subscribe to never miss an episode and last but certainly not least I want to say a personal thank you a heartfelt thank you to all of the channel members and Patreons those people who have gone above and beyond the Call of Duty are just, just thank you to every single one of you. You guys are amazing. Not a platitude, not bullshit, genuine sentiment. Could not do it without you. Couldn't do it full time without the support we get from the members and without the support we get from the patrons. You guys, honestly, you make it happen. So huge thank you to every single one of you. And on that note, thank you for watching. And of course, as always, see you guys next time. <laughs>